Hello everybody, welcome. Thank you very much for coming in so early. All of you, I think, are looking great. Yes, we have already crossed 500 people. So it is really fantastic, isn't it, to have 500 pharmacists committed all here at the same time. What do you say, all webinar delegates and webinar presenters? Can you all webinar presenters wave for the webinar attendees? Yes, thank you very much. So all of us are excited to be here. Welcome to the international webinar in English and Telugu. Yes, I'll be predominantly English. We have got a lot of people here and uh, our colleagues here on the webinar panel who will be both in English and Telugu. The topic for today's deliberation, knowledge updates for community and hospital pharmacy practice. So very important, isn't it, in today's COVID-19 days. So I honestly and sincerely welcome the VVIP for today's deliberation, the webinar presenter, Dr. T. V. Narayana sir. Amazing, isn't it, to have such an extraordinary person here on, a, on the webinar? Yes, Dr. T. V. Narayana sir is very much here, enthusiastic, and is one of the most successful pharmacists probably we have ever seen in our life. I also welcome Dr. Anupama Konero. Please give a nice Oh, thank you very much for the nice namaste, Dr. Anupama Ji. Very nice to have you here. And I also thank you. welcome Dr. Satish Garo. He is here from America. Please give a nice wave here, Dr. Satish Garo. Right. Thank you very much. You are just in time. All Americans are going to be just in time. <laughs> then we have Dr. Mr. Paramatma himself here. He is very famous among uh, the pharmacists because he was the guy, gentlemen. Court and then got a uh, law, or you can say uh, this thing, uh, ruling from there, stating that all doctors should write the prescriptions in capital letters. A very, very warm welcome to Mr. Kaushik Devaraju. He is a very dynamic person, a young guy, and the uh, leader for all the young pharmacists. So, welcome, President of KRPA. So it's a dual language uh, issue today. So you'll have presentation and discussions happening in your lingua franca as well as at the same time in English. So both the English people, knowing people and those who know both English and Telugu, both will be able to enjoy the entire webinar show. So don't feel, if you don't know Telugu, don't feel that you are not, you are going to lose out something, no. Now let me just take you on a helicopter view, okay? Mine will be a very fast helicopter view. I'll just give you the scene today. When I went on a helicopter view of the pharmaceutical field, especially retail and community pharmacy, I caught hold of Miss Lakshmi, the pharmacist. And this girl, she believes in selling more through patient offering. Wow, what a nice way of increasing the business revenue and offering patient satisfaction. But these days, being a corona warrior, Lakshmi not only wears her white apron, this is very important, please note it, but she also wears the face shield, the mouth mask, as well as the gloves and uh, the other paraphernalia. She has the hand sanitizer in her uh, handbag, so she is very, very prompt in her activities as a community pharmacist. She also believes in having a lot of uh, good counseling practices. Particularly, she is able to establish Vishwasam, that is your uh, reliability. She is basically to bridge the gap between the patient as well as the medicine. So she acts like that uh, bridge or covenant of trust. And at the same time, she is able to communicate verbally and non-verbally too, because that is important. You have to build confidence among the patients. So that's another thing she is adept at. She lends her you know, active listening here to all her patients so that she can resolve her questions. And at the same time, she is clinically objective and also provides empathy and encouragement, particularly to all the patients and the elderly subjects. She is able to maintain confidentiality, a perfect pharmacist who is meeting the patient needs and motivating the patients. She, of course, follows all the guidelines which uh, has been taught to her during her course. And this makes her a very successful pharmacist. For example, consider this thyroid disease patient who came to her. And uh, when she was counseling the thyroid disease patient, she casually asked, at what time do you take your medication? She said, 
that she is taking it promptly after breakfast. Now that was the catch. Immediately she latched on to it and that was a mistake. Please don't take it after breakfast. Take it on an empty stomach. The first thing in the morning. And then watch your thyroid levels will become much, much better at control. So what an important aspect she also does is brown bag consultation. She asks all the medications which the patient is having to be brought to her in a brown bag, including the OTC medications. Many a time she has seen patients taking two or three analgesics, one for the headache, one for the knee, knee pain. Now all this large amount of analgesics will cause nephrotoxicity. So she has counseled them and protected the kidneys of so many patients by now, probably. So that's the importance of patient counseling. These days, she is able to even detail what is immunity to the patient. Because the first line of defense is the skin and the mucous membrane. And the second line of defense is the WBCs. Both are important. And viruses which normally cause self-limiting infection, in this case, the coronavirus infection, COVID-19 infection, is not a self-limiting as of now. Very uh, in at least 30% of the cases, it is causing major symptoms, and in 3 to 4%, it is, or let us say around 3%, it is fatal. So, immunity, she reiterates, is because of the vitamins, minerals, and the plant polyphenols, including the curcuminoids, which help promote. She emphasizes that zinc and vitamin C are not stored in the body, they are required on a daily basis. And she also highlights an important point that a lower amount of vitamin D is associated with higher number of COVID-19 cases. This is as per an Italian study. It was a very good study. And she reiterates the importance of vitamin D. For example, it helps the WBCs produce what is called as cantalicidin, which is a protein peptide that has got anti-TB effect also. She reiterates the uh, amount of vitamin A that is required for maintaining the skin and mucous membrane health. So all these aspects she is doing on a continuous basis, helping in today's context, making the patient more confident and improve their immunity level. She also reiterates when some educated customers come about what the cytokine storm is. She says that some immune chemicals are produced called cytokines, which can damage the internal organs as well as cause clotting inside the blood vessels. So this leads to reduced oxygen supply to the internal organs. So these points she reiterates, makes them confident through also the Ayush product. She talks about why they should do steam inhalation or how they can improve their health by uh, taking various uh, health supplements and also drinking Ucom water. So zinc, vitamin C, curcumin, protein supplements, all these are definitely promoted by our hand hygiene products like Inocep and also oral hygiene products like Fresh Floor. She also gives the background to people. You know, it all started with Wuhan, where all sorts of vague wildlife animals are sold as food, including the bear and the bat. The bat is having a very unique human system. It harbors around 1,500 pathogens, but it does not get any viral infection. Its immune system is able to suppress that viral infection, but it can transmit the viral infection to the Arabian cam camel, or it can go to the uh, civet cat, or it can go to the pangolin. Pangolin is another interesting animal consumed for the meat as well as the scales. And probably from there, the COVID-19 infection has come to the human beings. So this is a spike having uh, virus. The spike proteins will attach themselves to the respiratory cells when we breathe in the uh, infected respiratory droplets. And remember, these infected droplets are transmitted even when the body <coughs> So salivary droplets are also carrying from the infected person. Micro salivary droplets are carrying these. So she educates everyone should wear a mask. At the same time, hand hygiene and oral hygiene is also emphasized by her. A COVID-19 infection patients first experiences tiredness, fever and high cough, but it may or may not be accompanied by uh, cold symptoms as well as the runny nose, sore throat and diarrhea. It's only the latter stage after eight days that the lung involvement comes. Among the new symptoms, she talks about the absence of the ability to smell and taste. Now look at this interesting incident. Dr. Yi was undergoing treatment for the uh, COVID-19 infection. Because of the antibiotics, he became dark-skinned person from being a fair person. 
of course now doctor who has recovered and he has regained his skin color back but this is the challenge of covid 19 treatment covid toss is another interesting point which of course we have uh, dr sateesh chitra who is going to elaborate on that so beautiful uh, symptom has come beautiful in the sense it's a very interesting insight that it forming sensation the patient who is having excess amount of covid 19 infection to a severe state there will be a ground glass effect and that is why the global lockdown has come into being so please ensure not to touch men that is the mouth eyes and nose if you touch the mouth eyes and nose transmission from the contaminated surface will take place don't touch men remember every word you speak 2.5 microscopic saliva droplets are also uttered along with that and that can cause significant that is why they have made spitting in public as an offense so follow these rules and you sometimes touch your face unconsciously by force of habit 16 to 23 times an hour this is a fact that has been proven so don't touch the surface of various uh, shelves etc with your non dominant hand if you are a right handed person touch with the left hand because your right hand is likely to touch the face so this way you can reduce contamination maintain the distance ensure the patient does not come in, inside your pharmacy there is also a danger of the running ceiling fan and ac if the patient coughs it spreads in the entire pharmacy satish uh, garu will also say that uh, in uh, places of uh, in america people who have gone to the pharmacy to buy a toothbrush have contracted the covid 19 infection when they return home they have seen that it is interesting who is insisting how to wash your hands so please ensure that you put the liquid soap wash the palms and the outside of your and in between the fingers as well as you please wash the nails like this and the entire thing takes about 20 seconds with lather to 40 seconds if you are using any hand sanitizer One rupee coin amount of hand sanitizer, wrap it, then do like this. Again, the thumb has to be clear. After every two three patients, please do it. Carry the pocket hand sanitizer. Wear your gloves. Encourage digital payments. Don't take the currency notes. If you are taking currency notes, wash. Uh, put uh, hand sanitizer to your hands. Put the currency note there. Rub the little and keep it to dry. That is the best way. When you take the stock from the salesman. you don't immediately put it on to the shelf leave it for about 8 uh, 9 hours so that if there are any covid 19 particles there then that will uh, die and then only you can able to put the items into the shelf today fumigation is also suggested and fogging is also suggested please do it routinely in your pharmacy so that is with the help of hydrogen peroxide and silver nitrate so that will ensure that it will give uh fumigated uh, premises for you remember the fundamental law of protection consider that everybody around you is a asymptomatic carrier of covid-19 who is capable of infecting you so this way you will be very careful you must be wondering what uh, julia roberts is doing here yes she is giving a fantastic smile for all of you now very interesting about this smile if you are having a non fake smile that is a duchenne smile duchenne smile is a original smile truthful smile it will reach up to your eyes and if it give a fake smile like how the erostes is sometimes give just like that you know so that is called as a fake smile so they have done a study in the mills college some girls smile genuinely and they were tracked down for 30 years later the genuine smilers were blessed with happier lives in terms of marriage well being and career so please smile genuinely let your smile reach up to your eyes not like this girl who is looking so beautiful but it's not a original smile it's a fake smile so i give you all a seductive smile here and say please smile well have a good day and you are well dressed for the day only wear a smile when you wear a smile so please ensure to wear your white coat have a great smile and then do your pharmacy work now we have 851 oh. uh, attendees i think you can go on to the main speakers and uh, to sell more you will have to do a lot of patient uh, counseling it is indeed my great pleasure and honor for me to introduce you to dr tv narayana sir uh, it's a teacher to say 
he does not require introduction yes i agree with that but at the same time please note that this academician pharma leader and president of the ipa indian pharmaceutical association is a firebrand dare do leader he is a rare blend of academic excellence and entrepreneurship yesterday when i was talking with him what i found very nice about this gentleman is that he encourages young pharmacists he was explaining how he in fact uh, instigates he scolds he ensures that they go from b farm to b farm b farm to m farm m farm to phd so what happens is that the pharmacist ultimately becomes a very very well qualified and a good professional see that is the big quality of leadership a leader is not only recognized by what he does a leader is one how he develops his team how his followers are developed etc so has a leadership he has done his b farm m farm m phil and phd he got his state and national merit scholarship he was the winner of the bv patel trust memorial scholarship for securing the first seat in b farm and he has got rich experience and uh, he is also the director of vikas institute of pharmacy under his uh, leadership ipa has expanded its base there is uh, there are more than 1000 life members and 2000 student life members he has established various state branches encouraged the proliferation of this he has attended many many conferences across the world if you see the list of the countries i think his passbook will be like a small uh, lakman okay so just to cutting a joke it will be like a lakman textbook so there will be so many seals and stamps to the country which he has gone to he has won several awards he has won uh, the ipa eminent pharmacist award he has won several big big awards including the fellowship of the association of biotechnologists picture bhushan award 2009 and so on so amazing uh, dr tv narayana sir it is not just vvip i think we have to invent some other term a uh, hundred people like you in this pharmaceutical industry and sector then imagine what will be the benefit how many more pharmaceutical professionals will be developed thank you very much for coming in sir and on to you now dr tv narayana sir thank you very much Oh, thank you, Dr. Sunil Shankar, uh, for the nice introduction. And uh, moreover, I am very happy to hear the precautions to be taken during this COVID-19 and letting the pharmacist. What are the precautions to be taken? And also the services rendered by rendering by Lakshmi. That is what we are looking at the role of community pharmacist in India in future. Most of the pharmacists should. update themselves and uh, take her as a role model try the best what she is uh, discharging the duties how she is uh, counseling the patient how she is educating the rural mass that is the immense contribution of uh, lakshmi i compliment uh, uh, her on behalf of indian pharmaceutical association and moreover my appreciation and compliments to organizers kannad registered pharmacist association particularly kaushik the dynamic uh, president and also the co organizers of group pharma um, for giving the opportunity to uh, share uh, sunil to this uh, series particularly the md sunil lathavar is also my good friend my uh, compliments to both organizers co organizers and to the speakers particularly koneru anupama koneru principal of sultan ulum college and also our executive committee member of pa telangana state and dr satish gotubati is uh, joined us from usa and i appreciate his uh, interest in uh, sharing his experience with the pharmacist he is also our scientific service committee member of ipca and dr parmatma you know, first time we interacted yesterday and it is nice to see such a fighter who fights for the cause of the profession so with this uh, speakers and i feel it is i feel pr- privileged to say karnataka is always in forefront in innovative activities and professional activities this is one such a type of activity expanding the wings to english and telugu for the combined telugu people here and this is unique activity to represent the digital pharmacist and knowledge updates for community and uh, 
hospital pharmacy practice that's what uh, the speakers are going to deliberate here i wish to say i visited several countries i feel proud to say the indian pharmacist is the best in the world i repeat it the indian pharmacists are the best in the world in certain areas and certain terms there was a survey conducted in the year 2006 what is the time taken by a community pharmacist of a developed country as compared with india the community pharmacist in developed country took 10 minutes to honor a prescription whereas in india i feel proud to say the indian pharmacist community pharmacist on average he dispense three prescriptions minimum and though he was not charged for a prescription he is giving his uh, instructions uh, he was not trained first of all in patient counseling and all with his vast experience and knowledge he tried his best to deliver the goods that's what uh, indian pharmacist uh, uh, is great in compared with others but this indian pharmacist services if they update themselves if they equipped with the latest development taking place definitely he is going to do wonders in future that's what i feel there are nearly 8 lakhs plus community pharmacists in india and 1 lakh plus hospital pharmacists in india they have to need to update and with the latest development and in such type of developments if you see today pharmacy practice and pharmaceutical care these are the words words if you say these are the new words and if you take the present community pharmacist most of our community pharmacist pharmaceutical care and pharmaceutical practice and uh, this is due to most of our community pharmacists are diploma in pharmacy holders there was no opportunity to learn themselves and there is no training opportunity as far as the syllabus is concerned the syllabus is not updated as to the suit the needs of the present scenario still we are in year 91 the diploma started with year 61 71 81 now we are in year 91 and this is some of the obstacles what our community pharmacists are facing in our country and internationally pharmacists are recognized for their expertise in practice area even who they mentioned clearly 70 percent of deaths are due to medication errors now hospitalized death and medication errors means the medicine is required but not prescribed the medicine is prescribed but not required the medicine is prescribed either in high dose or low dose these are the sources of medication errors and intervention of the clinical pharmacist at this juncture reduced the deaths to 25 percent that's what who says the role and importance of the clinical pharmacists of future and i am very happy that uh, indian pharmaceutical association organizes webinars and training sessions uh, to various pharmacists registered pharmacists Manjari Gharat, Raj Vajja, Adipuramesh, they are contributing immensely and giving training to the industries of like Pfizer, uh, MST, Hetro, Insignia, IMED services. They are contributing themselves. And IPA <coughs> is doing a wonderful job and uh, happy to collaborate with such type of activities. So today, the knowledge updates of a hospital a community and hospital pharmacy practice i want to give you a small presentation actually yesterday i was not uh, having idea of giving any powerpoint and uh, after seeing uh, others uh, giving powerpoint i thought let me give some insight what is the present community pharmacy scenario in india what are the changes what are the updates he has to undergo that's what i want to give a small presentation uh, that's what I feel. Learning is not compulsory. It is neither a survival. That's what Edward Deming said. The community pharmacist, though they were registered and they feel that, yes, only business is required for us. Nothing is important for us. Nothing like that. It is survival for them to learn and update themselves at the regular interval. I already mentioned you, pharmacy in India is the best in the world. And though having multitasking abilities, uh, they are lagging the sincerity and honesty in their uh, approach. That's what... Uh, our uh, pharmacy should look into it. This is the pharmacist to population ratio. This was uh, before uh, separation of Andhra and Telangana. Uh, combined state, 
the average pharmacist to population ratio in India is 1 is to 1,800 and all. If you take Andhra Pradesh, uh, combined Andhra Pradesh, it is 1 is to 2,238. Thanks to Karnataka, it is one pharmacist is available for 735 population. And Tamil Nadu stood number one here. Uh, 1 is to 600 plus pharmacists are available. That is the pharmacist to population ratio. WHO clearly says the 1 is to 500 is the prescribed ratio of pharmacist to population. So not many avenues are there, opportunities are there for the pharmacist. This is the status of our community pharmacist. There are more than 8 lakh registered pharmacists. And the community pharmacy in India is mostly diploma in pharmacy. It starts from 100 to 200 square feet. And there is no provision for value-added services and no proper storage facilities. Even in a summer of 55 degrees, the medicines were kept on fridge in some pharmacies if you look into it. And no basic information to customers and considered as a trade. As the problem in India is the either the public or the pharmacy himself, a owner himself, consider it as a trade, as a business, not as a profession. That's why we were not recognized for the pharmacy services in our country. And there is no guidance on dosage compliance and harmful effects of self-medication. In the introduction, you briefed how Dr. Lakshmi is uh, giving information to the pharmacy uh, patients and by the counseling. That is lagging in most of the pharmacies. That is one major area we have to concentrate. That is the reason the pharmacies are not recognized by the government, either in uh, Niti Ayog of the recent and Aishman Bharati are in uh, national health policy. And uh, what are the challenges in community pharmacy? These are the, some of the challenges. Uh, the community pharmacy in public perception is very weak. He was not trained to suit the needs of the pharmacy practice area. 30% of the population worldwide are deprived of essential medicines. And in the poorest part, it is more than 50%. Per capita consumption of drugs is lowest in the world compared to the developed countries. India it is very low. Nearly half of the patients treated for common diseases. And nearly 40% patients received antibiotic unnecessarily. That's what antimicrobial resistance uh, has more privileges in the cases in India. And more than 1,600 reported counterfeit uh, medicines, incidents of counterfeit medicines in India. How the pharmacy in developed countries, this is a picture took in the Bell Pharmacy in Australia when we had been there as a delegation of Pharmacy Council of India. He, the pharmacist, he briefed how the pharmacy services they are rendering to the society, the, the public. And the greatest thing here, when we were discussing, the patient has come immediately, he asked us to gentlemen, please stop. And he attended the patient, given the patient counseling. After completion of the patient counseling, again he came and joined. That is the commitment of the pharmacist in developed countries. That's what we should look into to prove our presence, to show our role. Yes, there is a pharmacist for the reliable source of information on the drugs and drug interaction and counseling. And if you take the pharmacy retailing, it is more than 1 crore, 100,000 1, crore market. If you take in US, five pharmacy chains controls the entire 40% sales. In UK, seven pharmacy chains controls more than 60%. And chains started in India also with value-added services. So many Apollo, Hetero, Trust Pharma. So many our chains are coming. So regular conventional business is going to hamper with the emergence of the chain system in future because they are going to give the value-added services. Unless you update yourself, it is very difficult for... Uh, pharmacists considering themselves as a trade to survive in the profession. And here, this is the hospital pharmacist, how the hospital pharmacist is supposed to do. Even we don't know how many exact number of hospital pharmacists. For the last two days I am trying, what is the number of hospital pharmacists working in government hospital, working in railway hospitals and all. Very few states able to give the exact number. And the role and responsibility of hospital pharmacists, those who are working in ESC also, nobody knows how the pharmacy services are rendered there. There should be a lot of change to come in these areas. Uh, he has to manage drug inventory, drug dispensing, and record keeping. And with proper training, <clears throat> he should help to improve medication use, drug therapy monitoring, patient counseling, drug information services. 
ADR reporting, ADR monitoring, all these areas, the hospital pharmacies are supposed to take in. Now the Pharmacy Council of India has come out with the regulations called Pharmacy Practice Regulation 2014. Once these regulations implement in India, definitely there will be a bright future for the hospital pharmacies. The regulation clearly mentioned the job description of the hospital pharmacist. Uh, two hours he has to dispense the drugs. One hour minimum he has to counseling the patient. One hour he has to report the ADR. Like that clear indication of the job responses, the responsibilities were given in this pharmacy practice regulation. And next is the clinical pharmacist. Again, uh, career opportunity, uh, contribution to improve medication through employment in hospital, teaching, drug information, pharmacovigilance, clinical research, and medical information. Again, the, there was a requirement of one clinical pharmacist for the uh, medical services in the hospitals. That's what uh, the regulations insist. Again, the scenario will change after the implementation of this pharmacy practice regulation. I had been to international conference of FIP in Glasgow. The president given a statement stating that by the year 2030, the health workforce requirement is 30 million to the world, that to the globe. He has given a statement. And also he has given a wonderful statement. There is no health care without workforce. And there is no workforce without education. That's what a wonderful statement he has given. There is a bright future for the pharmacists who are uh, rendering their services to the profession of the pharmacy. And also he has given a statement in FIP Abu Dhabi last year. Uh, 21st century will be the century of pharmacists. Proudly he said 21st century is the century of pharmacists. All the pharmacists and pharmaceutical scientists and educators have a key role in the evolution of profession around the world. And also these are the global challenges predicted by the WHO in the next decade. They identified 10 current threats to global health due to air pollution, climatic changes, influenza, AMR, and NCD mean non communicable diseases. Already we are uh, experiencing the air pollution. It's what uh, last year uh, threat given by the WHO. And non communicable diseases collectively responsible for 41 million deaths. And 15 million are dying prematurely every year at the age of 30 to 69 years. Over 85% premature deaths are in low and middle income countries. And the risk factors identified for these are pollution and uh, physical inactivity, unhealthy diet, tobacco, alcohol, and these are some of the views given by the WHO. These are the global changes, challenges. And pharmacists have a vital role, wide role to play in the future. And compared, uh, if you look at the identified current threats of the globe in future. What are the need of the hour? So we being pharmacy professionals have to transform into multifaceted, multi-talented individuals with competencies in variety of domains like clinical and scientific settings. And future, that's what uh, scientists uh, predicts. This is the emergence of genomics and proteomics, which is going to change the concept of drug delivery. No one drug fits all. That's what the scientists predict. And the healthcare paradigm may shift towards the personalized medicines with gene therapy in future. The routine tablets, capsules, and all going to vanish, and personal gene therapy is going to come in the picture. So pharmacies should equip themselves with the latest development taking place. This is down the line. In five years, it is going to come. That is the personalized medicines as per the uh, International Pharmaceutical Federation. These are the some of the developments taking place. So our pharmacies should equip attend uh, seminars, webinars to themselves to fit into the needs of the future. Okay. And uh, finally, we should see that every patient who walks in, the pharmacist must ensure that right medicine is provided at right dose and in most suitable formulation with required information that is the part of patient counseling. That's what our pharmacist is supposed to do. And I suggest the community pharmacist with the qualification of a B Pharma who are here, who are serving the profession, to upgrade the qualification and update. Pharmacy Council has introduced a program called B Pharma Practice. It is a two years program. Any pharmacist, after procuring three years of experience, he can work, uh, he can continue this program or B Pharma Practice course 
it is a part time course and it is for working pharmacist and the, the syllabus is entirely changed based on the needs of the current scenario and for with international standards he was not trained he will be not teaching on regular statistics chemistry analysis and all these things he will be trained in pathophysiology what are the licensing requirements and what are the inspection procedures what is patient counseling what is adr reporting only these areas that is the wonderful program it is a two years part time pro program and it is a student friendly program with examinations also student friendly 40 marks the internal assessment and 60 marks final exam that is the objective type uh, simple exam then 50 is the pass mark that's what i advise the students the community pharmacists to upgrade themselves with the program called b pharm practice so our vision 2025 must be by 2025 the profession should be able to prove that pharmacists are important players in making a difference in a region or a country with the dreams vision strategic planning and efforts let us make india a super power already we proved that india is a super power in manufacturing of pharmaceuticals let us make india a super power in terms of pharmacy practice that's what i want to say to the community pharmacists thank you thank you for giving me the opportunity and thank you for uh, uh, giving me the opportunity for opening remarks and uh, introducing my and sharing my experience with the audience thank you thank you dr tv narayan garu telugu lo cheppandi we are looking for some words of wisdom in telugu also kindly speak in telugu a few words yeah telugu definitely i can share my experience uh, i have come across chaala mandi pharmacists to do the combined states andhra telugu uh, andhra telangana lo i have so many students chaala mandi unnaru valandarki nenu cheppedu entante make use meekunna resources ni upayoginchukondi don't consider this as a trade ee pharmacy nadi vyaparam kaadu idu oka service to the society ippudu chain pharmacy lu ivanni kuda uh going to change lot of uh, going to bring lot of changes individual ga pharmacy chese vallu future lo survival chaala kashtam unless meeru latest updates ivvala evaraina patient mi shop lo kochinappudu just prescription honor cheyadame kaadu aa prescription lo unna uh, medicines how to take use of medicines ela theesukovali e precautions theesukovali aa tarvata counseling వాళ్ళకి పేషెంట్ కౌన్సిలింగ్ చేయడం కానీ జాగ్రత్తలు అన్ని చెప్పడం దీస్ ఆర్ ది వాల్యూ యాడెడ్ సర్వీసెస్ వి కాల్ వాల్యూ యాడెడ్ సర్వీసెస్ అన్లెస్ నువ్వు ఈ వాల్యూ యాడెడ్ సర్వీసెస్ అవ్వకపోతే దే విల్ గో టు ద నెక్స్ట్ ఫార్మసీ యూ మే బీ హ్యావింగ్ మనకు రొటీన్ కస్టమర్స్ ఉన్నారు నో ప్రాబ్లం అనుకుంటాం రొటీన్ కస్టమర్స్ ఆల్రెడీ ముసలాడు అయిపోయింటారు ఇప్పటి యంగ్ జనరేషన్ ఈజ్ లుకింగ్ వట్ ఈస్ ద బెస్ట్ అమాంగ్ ద రెస్ట్ వాళ్ళు ఎప్పుడు చేస్తారు డెఫినెట్లీ దే విల్ గో టు ద ప్లేస్ ఎక్కడ ఎక్కువ ఫెసిలిటీ దొరుకుతుంది అక్కడ కలుపుతాం so my sincere advice to you is update latest updates seminars webinars attend cheyandi and, and uh, uh, improvement programs quality improvement uh, of course na continue education programs attend cheyandi me all india organization for chemistry and drugs dwara kuda we are approaching to organize one one monthly program to update ourselves and don't consider it as a trade consider it as a profession that is my sincere request suggestion and advice to the pharmacists to those who are serving the pharmacy profession in the state over to sunil yes super sir your uh, words are like tonic although the word tonic is not a professional word because there is only tonic and clonic seizures we are not supposed to use it as a energizer word but still i say your words were very very another one word another one word i want to add yes please, uh, please. if you follow manu ee manchi practice lanni follow cheste automatically money will come now pharmacist feel that i want money only money is the criteria don't say that money is the criteria money is not the everything it is only something if you follow these good practices definitely money will come automatically to you future lo we should be in a position to charge for the prescription enta varaku mana prescription charge ni enduku cheyala potanu because of our inefficient not inefficiency not uh, taking active role in promoting the profession so this we have to come out then definitely uh, 
సొసైటీకి రికగ్నైజ్ ఈ రోజు మనం చూసాము కోవిడ్ నైన్టీన్ లో ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ మోడీ ఫస్ట్ ఈ యాజ్ రెస్పెక్టెడ్ డాక్టర్స్ ఈ యాజ్ రెస్పెక్టెడ్ నర్సెస్ ఈ యాజ్ రెస్పెక్టెడ్ అదర్ పారామెడికల్ స్టాఫ్ ఫార్మసిస్ట్ అనే వర్డ్ ఎక్కడ రాలేదు పన్నెండు లక్షల మంది ఫార్మసిస్టులు మనం పనిచేస్తున్నాం కోవిడ్ నైన్టీన్ లో డాక్టర్స్ తో పాటు మోర్ దాన్ నైన్ ఫార్మసిస్ట్ వర్ అటాక్ సఫరింగ్ విత్ కోవిడ్ నైన్టీన్ బై సర్వింగ్ డ్యూరింగ్ దిస్ క్రైసిస్ ఇన్ మహారాష్ట్ర బట్ ఫార్మసిస్ట్ అనే వర్డ్ ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ కానీ ఎవరు కూడా ఉపయోగించలేదు ఎందుకంటే మన సర్వీసెస్ సొసైటీకి ఉపయోగపడే విధంగా లేవు మనం ఈ ట్రేడ్ అనే ఒక మార్క్ నుంచి ప్రొఫెషన్ అనే సర్వీస్కి వచ్చేదాకా నో బడీ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు రికగ్నైజ్ యూ దిస్ ఈజ్ డిపెండింగ్ అపాన్ ద కమ్యూనిటీ ఫార్మసిస్ట్ బికాస్ మోర్ దెన్ ఎయిట్ ల్యాక్ కమ్యూనిటీ ఫార్మసిస్ట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ఎవర్ హ్యాండ్ టు గివ్ ఎ గుడ్ ఇంపాక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద సొసైటీ ఎస్ ఫార్మసిస్ట్ దేర్ ఈజ్ గివింగ్ అ గుడ్ గుడ్ సర్వీస్ అదర్వైజ్ నో బడీ విల్ రికగ్నైజ్ యూ అండ్ ఇదే విల్ కన్సిడర్ యూ ట్రేడ్ ఓన్లీ ఆ మాస్క్ నుంచి బయటకు రండి దట్స్ వాట్ ఐ వాంట్ సజెస్ట్ టు ద super sir thank you so much thank you it was really galvanizing thank you very much for this uh, without much ado i will go to the next speaker introducing dr anupama madam dr anupama koneru as you can see from the photograph itself she is a very smiling and a very jovial personality but at the same time very committed to her studies in 1990 bfarm itself she was a topper gate scholar during those times she did not have gpat and she did with distinction her m farm she did her phd from jntu another very iconic university rich academic experience she is affiliated to so many organizations and uh, she has published around 30 papers in both international and national journals i think uh, it's a great opportunity for us to listen to dr uh, anupama garu so please madam please continue and we are all ears kind of take over uh thank you mr sunil uh and uh, dr tv narayana sir and mr kaushik andarki namaskaram tv narayan sir and uh, mr sunil my classmate of 30 years ago uh, they made my uh, presentation easier nadi endukante vellu global scenario manaki already ichcharu na topic invisible first responders and caregivers why invisible already narayan sir chepparu manam unnamu kani mana notice cheyaledu so manam notice chese datu avvali so pharmacists the invisible first responders and caregivers they interested with ensuring patient staff self and their own business safety during covid 19 pandemic endukante ikkada manam ochina patient ki mandulistunama mana staff baagunnara anedi chaladu manam baagunama plus in the serious situation lo how is our business anedi manaki major uh, point of concern ayipothundi so tv narayan sir chepparu padda padda vallu manam recognize cheyaledu ani yes nobody has recognized us our role in the country but still there are few i mean uh, who have given us who have noticed us nitin gadkari garu Uh, almost in the end of March, March 28th, Nadai Chaparu. Thank you, pharmacists, for protecting us. And you are also our heroes then. And then representation is done, madam. Thank you. I'm going to do it. And thank you, sir, for that. In the end of the day, you are the only one famous personality who recognizes you. You are non-existent. You are not there for people to uh, realize that you are there. Your presence is important. No, we went to Nagpur because the next mm-hmm. IPC is in Nagpur. where yes. nitin gadkari personal secretary is the uh, lwc chairman then i asked why don't you request your minister to issue a letter mm. stating that the role and the services of pharmacists in the covid 19 immediately he has sent me that letter so uh, thank, thank you. you for once again for that uh, lead also sir okay and then uh, see everybody is in lockdown spending time with families but not pharmacist because you have to be there you have to be without you there is no medication available and without you or without us uh, the fighting covid is not uh, possible okay. and ippudu ante mana presence acknowledge cheyakunna government is asking pharmacists to track down covid 19 suspects ante manamu man degger mi degger ku ostunna fever patients cold cough to che patients anni kuda report cheyamani and adi community pharmacists aspect that the presence of the uh, manufacturing pharmacies were today india is 15% of the world 
uh, supply of medications come uh, the drugs and formulations come from india that is our presence today and uh, pre independent i mean real at the independence time only 5% were produced in the country whereas 95% con our country was relying on the multinationals from outside the country but the scenario has changed now india lo kavalsina medications the 85% are taken care of by our own manufacturers so e development already manufacturing side ochindi manaku ipudu development kavalsindi community pharmacists on a local pharmacist ki so in a practicing pharmacist industry side to address the man degra 55% community pharmacists running in the medical stores privately and uh, 20% hospital uh, privately and in government but 20% are attached to the hospitals and approximately 0.5% are only the clinical pharmacists so e scenario lo ent a major important role able to be for a community pharmacist to update himself for herself so uh, what are the problems faced by community man want to for community pharmacist in nesh kali adinesh kali ani yes nesh kali but at the same time ain't in the problems mari first and foremost loss of business as the sales drop during covid but before covid also manaki bhayankaramaina other competitions unnai wherein chain pharmacies are there online pharmacies ochesni vit annitlo survive avvali anante yes we have to struggle so loss of business dan ki todu covid add ayindi wherein no prescription stop and maha ite i think all of you will agree all the community pharmacists only all customers are coming back to you and uh, also the medicines cars the medicines medicines oka prescription lo aidu osthe meeku andulo rendu moodu dorakane dorko endukante the medical supplies have got grossly affected and staff is a problem because there is no public transportation for your staff to come and uh, fear of exposure of staff to the virus in spite of precautions meer akka sanitizers pettukondi chethulu kadagandi kani aa bayam anedi edaithe untado adi still lurking i hope uh, parmasam garu in ground realities toti agree chestaru uh, the next thing ante the increased expenditure incurred in managing all these things gloves masks sanitizers for the staff and also some med uh, medical stores are giving it for patients also and these we have uh, besides all this also sanitization of premises is chala important uh, already mr sunil had mentioned this that how you have to fumigate your uh, premises time to time and it is kaakunda manaki already business takku ayindi and on that there is an additional work of reporting all details of the patients coming for otc otc drugs with one or more covid symptoms to the authorities okay when we are report cheyaleda miss ainda again there will be somebody watching you and you know warning us you have not reported so in covid now suddenly our role the community pharmacist role increased in helping the government to track the patients with covid positive patients and if we talk about the other problems currently are suffocation with constant use of masks and gloves and uh, also the lack of availability of food meer already stores kochesa naka inta mundu chaala restaurants pakka ikkada akkada unde pakkana and the food was available for you but now that is also an issue so uh, these are all the issues that are faced by the current community pharmacists in the current scenario the community pharmacists are facing problems unnai but then solution enti ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఉన్నాయి 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 అనుకుంటే అది ఎప్పటికీ తీరవు సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు సర్చ్ ఫర్ ది సొల్యూషన్ అండ్ దీస్ ఆర్ టఫ్ టైమ్స్ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీబడి అండ్ ఎవ్రీ బిజినెస్ దెన్ హౌ డూ వీ డూ అవర్ బెస్ట్ ఇన్ ప్రొటెక్టింగ్ అవర్ బిజినెసెస్ ఆల్రెడీ సునీల్ గారు చెప్పారు నారాయణ సార్ చెప్పారు బ్రింగింగ్ అండ్ ప్రొఫెషనలిజం టు అవర్ బిజినెస్ ఈజ్ అ మస్ట్ పూర్తిగా బిజినెస్ లాగా చేద్దాము ఒక ట్రేడ్ లాగా చేద్దాము అని అంటే మాత్రం we cannot survive e competition law with online pharmacies in the many pharmacies every lane has got three four pharmacies it it won't a situation lo manam survive avvali ante professionalism is important and uh, professionalism is knowing how to do it when to do it and when you know all this doing it professionally is what is important this is what is said by frank tiger and how do we improve or how do we bring in professionalism into our business is first thing improving communication skills patient counseling utilizing services of pharmd graduates and pharmd interns and uh, safety of all the staff financial planning 
and diet, exercise, and self care of every community pharmacist. So let us see one by one. This also, Mr. Sunil had uh, mentioned how do you communicate? How communication skills and a bag of English martial is damu, uh, whether the words what is martial damu, kadu. Manam, mana, the Greek was the patient's sort of connect a yada to that is, it can be a verbal language and a vocal of a martial than a bru. Manam, martial than a bru. First thing, you are a good speaker only when you are a good listener. So active listening is very important. Active listening until when the patient nasi dundi dundi and chapina puto manamu overlook jese si just a prescription niche si atagado. What is he is trying to say and what they are not telling also that should be understood. And we have to share with the uh, we have to take care of the I mean sorry we have to listen with empathy. Empathy is when you place yourself in your patient situation. And uh, building a rapport, rapport on the work and mean flow amount and the mean flow amount of the narrow is a card. It allows the patients to feel comfortable with you. Just ask some questions from when are you suffering this, all those things. But uh, so, unless you build a rapport, that patient will not come back, or that person will not, that customer will not come back to you again. And also, apart from this, verbal language is silence that is, provide the patient enough time to share their thoughts. Maname Ladala Matadis is a uh, the patient may not be able to share. So, in a, this is how we have to improve our communication skills. All age of the Nalo Vinali, while a eight lava person are urban just for Galgali, and a put Sadian Adante, Manregri, Parimandi customers, okay, Sarachna, yes, Manam, we fail him. But Parimandi Mali Ravalante, we have to start it somewhere. And uh, well, I mean, there are two types of questions, open-ended and closed-ended. Start with open-ended questions. And then, what are the symptoms you are currently experiencing? Closed-ended, once they tell us the symptoms, when we are asking, pain closed-ended, they will say only yes or no. So first start with open-ended questions, and then finish it with the closed-ended questions. And we should not use the leading questions. Me ko ek tarah nepi mastunat lga unda unta di chudu. Ye type lo mana maasa gula. Ante unta di chudu ante psychologically the patient will feel probably I have that symptom. So we should leave our questions should not lead the patient to an answer. And we should not question why do you miss your doses. We should ask what is making you. I mean where did where <coughs> what happened that you missed your dose? Why do you miss your doses? Anangana valak situ na dante sade. So. Such questions should be avoided. And the non verbal uh, communication skills, which generally these uh, have, I mean, the community pharmacy should improve the tone of the voice. A patient may speak in a tone that sounds encouraged, dejected, sad, while choosing mana tone, manamo, mashkawali. So we have to change our tone, seeing or observing. So this is a non verbal communication and choice of language it should be simple easy and clear we are not it's not a uh, talking to our patient it's not our uh, uh, continuous uh, testing of our knowledge it should be simple easy and clear and facial expression should be appropriate as uh, mr sunil said smile is very important you are not dressed up until you wear a smile so, and then eye contact, yes, you have to see, look into the patient's eyes and speak, but that, that doesn't mean that we stare into them, into their faces and speak. So these are the non-verbal communication also we have to improve. See, the patient is not, you should think that the patient is not coming to a grocery store. He is coming to a pharmacy. So the person who is selling medicine should have a different way of uh, approach rather than a salesperson in, an, uh, in a grocery store. And the other things, body posture, when a patient, uh, when the uh, community pharmacist or a hospital pharmacist is not dressed appropriately or not showing proper gestures, or the body posture is not straight, then it conveys that the uh, community pharmacist himself is not very confident. So, and appearance, professional, white, neat, apron is very, very important. Both my 
the speakers before me had emphasized on this it is matram chaala important edo podukulu legs vachcha san pharmacy ki amadam start chestanu itla adu koncham professional approach anedi chaala chaala important and uh, already they said patient counseling ipudu mana first ilanti chinna chinna symptoms ki no patient goes to a doctor they come straight to the pharmacy and the pharmacist should know which one he should dispense for what symptoms he should dispense otc drugs and for what symptoms he should uh, suggest them to go to a doctor idi lekunda just a prescription vachindi nenu ammestanu naaku rendu medicines telavtayi ee kaanti approach manam slow ga maarchukunte gaani mana presence ni gurtinchadaniki chance undadu so the pharmacist should know atlantic symptoms ki physician ki ellu ellandi and convince cheyali patient ni and atlantic symptoms ki otc drugs ఇచ్చేసేయాలి అని సో ఇందులో ఒక మేజర్ రోల్ ఏంటి అంటే యూటిలైజ్ సర్వీసెస్ ఆఫ్ ఫార్మ్ డి గ్రాడ్యుయేట్స్ అండ్ ఫార్మ్ డి ఇంటర్న్స్ నారాయణ సార్ ఆల్రెడీ చెప్పారు మనం ఒక ప్రిస్క్రిప్షన్ ని మనం ఛార్జ్ చేయలేకపోతున్నాము ఎందుకు అని అంటే మనం ఒక జస్ట్ ఆ ప్రిస్క్రిప్షన్ ని చూసి మెడిసిన్స్ ఇచ్చేస్తున్నాము బట్ మేక్ ఇట్ ఇన్ టు అవర్ ప్రొఫెషన్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బి అ బిజినెస్ ఆర్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బి అ సర్వీస్ మనం సర్వీస్ చేస్తా కూర్చుంటే ఆ ఫ్యామిలీ వీ కాన్ స్టాప్ అవర్ ఫ్యామిలీ జస్ట్ ఏమ్ దట్ ఐ డూ సర్వీస్ బికాస్ మై ప్రొఫెషన్ సేస్ డూ సర్వీస్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బి అ రైట్ బ్యాలెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ అ బిజినెస్ అండ్ సర్వీస్ సో హౌ వీ కెన్ ఇంప్రూవ్ అవర్ ఫార్మసీ హౌ వీ కెన్ మేక్ పీపుల్ టు కమ్ దర్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఫార్మ్ డి గ్రాడ్యుయేట్స్ అవైలబుల్ హూ హవ్ కంప్లీటెడ్ ఆర్ హూ ఆర్ విత్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ హాస్పిటల్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ రిచ్ హాస్పిటల్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఇనిషియల్లీ వాళ్ళని జస్ట్ సర్వీస్ కోసమే తీసుకోండి అంటే say for a couple of months see how it works they, they will take care of doing such additional services free of cost for a while because now they even they have to prove themselves and the pharmacy also have to prove uh, itself okay. it is efficient so health screening services that is bp blood sugar monitoring patient education drug information and atlake uh, communication skills ivanni we tanni tiki meeku readily available ipo ఆ తర్వాత మీరు మీరే ఇంప్రూవ్ చేసుకోండి బట్ టేక్ ది సర్వీసెస్ ఆఫ్ ఫార్మ్ డి గ్రాడ్యుయేట్స్ అండ్ ఫార్మ్ డి ఇంటర్నల్ ఇంటర్న్స్ అంటే ద సిక్స్ ఇయర్ లో ఉన్న ఫార్మ్ డి స్టూడెంట్ అండ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ దట్ ది ఫార్మసీ ఇస్ ఫేసింగ్ అండ్ హౌ యూ హ్యావ్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద సొల్యూషన్ గ్లౌజ్ వేసుకుంటే కంటిన్యూస్లీ దేర్ స్వెట్ హ్యాండ్స్ ఇన్ నో టైమ్ ఫ్రీక్వెంట్ యూస్ ఆఫ్ హ్యాండ్ శానిటైజర్స్ అండ్ ఫ్రీక్వెంట్ హ్యాండ్ వాషర్స్ కాస్ డ్రైనెస్ ఆఫ్ హ్యాండ్స్ ఇవన్నీ వాట్ ఆర్ కమ్యూనిటీ ఫార్మసిస్ ఫేసింగ్ so compulsorily before going to bed apply a moisturizer or coconut oil both will work very good and coconut oil comes out very cheap also but it is very healthy and uh, face marks on prolonged wearing leads to bad smell sweat and medium for microorganisms mana maatlaade we already smell ga chair when you speak how many then we speak with each of our words how many microorganisms are coming into the air Uh, what are coming into the air are just mask blocked by our own mask and again we are breathing the same uh, and so it starts false smelling so avoid speaking as far as possible when the face mask is on and use cotton reusable face mask and at the end of the day it should be soaked in soap water washed and dried and use it for the next day and uh, face shields and face masks and sanitizers and okate rodanta vaadaddu keep alternating them oka dan tarvata okati వాడతా డే అంతా కంప్లీట్ చేయండి సో ఒకటే కంటిన్యూస్ గా మాస్క్ వాడారు అంటే మీ మాస్క్ ఇస్ ఇన్ ఫర్ యూ టు క్యాచ్ అదర్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ ఫిఫ్త్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఇస్ బిజినెస్ లేదు సో వాట్ ఇస్ దేర్ వాట్ కెన్ బి డూ టు సేవ్ అవర్ బిజినెస్ ఇస్ ది మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్ ఇస్ ది ఫైనాన్షియల్ ప్లానింగ్ ఫస్ట్ మార్కెట్ పిక్చర్ స్టడీ మార్కెట్ పిక్చర్ కేర్ఫుల్ అండ్ ప్లేస్ ఆర్డర్స్ మన రొటీన్ బిజినెస్ లాగా ఇది లేదు సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు స్టడీ అవర్ మార్కెట్ పిక్చర్ కేర్ఫుల్ and then what is required what is future requirements new future requirement dan prakaram orders chain gani gaba gaba bulk orders chese si don't lose the money that is there in your hand and write down all the expenditures at the store at home also uh, and identify avoidable expenditures or those which we can postpone to and involve all those who are associated with those expenditures ante శానిటైజర్ పెట్టారు కదా అని మన ఎంప్లాయీ పోయి పది సార్లు శానిటైజర్ వాడేస్తున్నారు నో ఈవెన్ దే హ్యావ్ టు బి రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ ఆఫ్ హౌ మచ్ ఇస్ బీయింగ్ యూస్ అండ్ ప్రొటెక్ట్ టు ప్రొటెక్ట్ అస్ నాట్ యు నో జస్ట్ ఫర్ టైమ్ పాస్ యూఆర్ యూజింగ్ సమ్ శానిటైజర్ వేస్టింగ్ ఇట్ ఈ వేస్టేజ్ అనేది అట్ హోమ్ అండ్ ఇన్ ది ఇన్ ది స్టోర్ 
uh, in the pharmacy the people should follow they should no wastage so generally under the undadu train staff and family about austerity measures these saving finances electricity water and judicious use of all the protective gears are ipu nenu mask eskunna nu morning oka 10 minutes vaadanu tees padesanu malli inkoka teesanu itla kaadu judicious use of all protective gears and uh, what benjamin franklin said is a penny saved is a penny earned oka rupai manam save cheyagaligam anante adi sapainchinatte so itla slow ga mi business ni protect cheskondi in this tough time and uh, the other important thing for any pharmacist or any individual is if we don't take care of ourselves we can't take care of our people as a head of the family you have to take care of your family the staff everybody so if you don't know how to take care of yourself you can't if you are not there available then how can we take care of other people so health is wealth and continuously being under stress yes with stress undi endukante eppudu with which patient who is walking in you will catch the disease we don't know finances are a problem sales are dipping so in all yes stress is there which if the stress if you allow it to take over then it will invite more diseases to us so the first step in this is carry fresh home cooked food with you in the morning when you are leaving for the store meer elledapude first thing in the morning roju ok sarpada food simple ante lavish ga edo chesesi atla kaadu leda ninnad the leftovers kaadu because nutrition for you is as important as any member of the family so in din lo as i already said they were lavish ga imported vegetables to fruits atla kaadu mana local fruits local vegetables uh, we have to consume and also focus on holistic wellness that is avoid stress stress andar ki untadi problems andar ki untadi i mean god doesn't leave anybody without any issue so avoid stress do pranayam take proper rest practice gratitude and love uh, and maintain hygiene these are all very very important for you in the uh, in this testing times so it starts with how to manage your stress and then some exercise compulsory and rest is also very very compulsory and edo okati a time ki tine samu an kaakunda properly cooked food fruits everything vegetables water and no unhealthy food because the at the end mana health lekapothe if we don't have a good health we cannot survive after that comes the business and the family and the edanna sare so goodbye to all addictions uh, whether it is smoking good ka all those things should be avoid alcohol because they also take away your finances and also they are your people of mind it's a vicious cycle which these uh, addictions will lead us to and what are to avoid these are all you know already uh, mr sunil and uh, tv narayan sir have already said no handshakes no crowded places avoid all this social distancing pharmacy lo carefully you move your counter to on the dispensing area to the main entrance so that the patient don't walk in inside your Uh, into the store a uh, b- lot of small stores do that but the may bigger little medium size and bigger stores will have a counter inside so once a patient or a covid positive asymptomatic patients also if they walk in they are just lodging their viruses the viruses in your uh, in the not very ventilated store so andukani asla kada ka raniya pakandi plus keep two counter and encourage digital uh, pays uh, whether google pay ishanti vanni suppose if somebody gets a cash it gets cash as uh, mr sunil said if you are not immediately using the sanitizer as mr sunil said keep another bowl where they drop in and you give the money from the other uh, bowl, other area you give the change that has to be rendered to the uh, customer so this is how you take precautions in the store and uh, tough times don't last but tough people do as mr gregory peck said uh, mana health mana chethilo unna prati rupayi chaala important ee time ee testing times ni cross cheyadaniki so i hope all of you take care of yourselves and the yes the difficult times are there for everybody and i hope you will come through this and uh, in this i have also acknowledged mr dinesh of uh, balaji medical banjara health who has given me the input what the businesses are going through now 
so with these inputs, I could uh, suggest some solutions. And I thank Dr. T. V. Narayanaru, who's always there. One word is enough, sir. Please come. Let us do something together, or encourage us do something together. He's always there, and uh, always there for everybody. That is the best part. Yesterday, sir was suggesting uh, to Mr. Parmatma also that we will do some. Community pharmacies education uh, in Nalgonda district, especially for uh, the community pharmacists, the pharmacists in the Nalgonda district. So, that's why ever ki ekada help idhar na kawali anna guda Narayan sir first untaru. So thank you Narayan sir, thank you Sunil, uh, Mr. Sunil for uh, roping me into this uh, webinar and Mr. Kaushik Devraju, Mr. Parmatma Garu, and uh, Dr. Satish. And thanks to all the audience for your patient, the patient listening. Thank you, one and all. Thank you very much, Dr. Anupama. You are a true pharma diva. You have really given uh, good points based on primary research. Talking about yeah. research, how can we forget uh, what all uh, Dr. Satish, I think is the most handsome uh, dean in the world. So, uh, Dr. Satish <laughs> of Vigyan Pharmacy College, Vadlamudi, just look at his four-page biodata. You get so what do you say? Thrilled with the admiration. After completing his B farm, he did his MS in uh, industrial pharmacy and pharmaceutics at Long Island University. Now, all that is fine. But what stands out, you know, is his work experience. He has done formulation development. He has developed a transdermal patch. He has worked on developing herbal formulations. Okay, that is fine. Then he went on. He joined the pharmacy chain where he has become a certified immunization pharmacist and he has joined Coram Infusion Services where he used to give some infusions also. So he has got manufacturing experience, education experience, research, formulation development and in USA he got the best pharmacist award uh, three times as the American favorite pharmacist. Now you are our favorite guy. Uh, welcome, uh, Dr. Satish. <laughs> Truly, it is, uh, what do you say, inspiring to have you here. And uh, you are on. We are all yours. Please. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Sunil. Thank you for the lovely introduction. Uh, I'm very happy to be I mean, participating in this um, webinar. At the very outset, I would like to thank uh, Dr. TV Narayana, sir. Uh, Mr. Kaushik, uh, my co-speakers, Dr. Anupuma, ma'am, and Paramat Mr. Paramatma, <laughs> and uh, Sunil, and Mr. Sunil, and uh, the Karnataka Registered Pharmacist Association for giving me this opportunity to share my views uh, about uh, coronavirus. Uh, the main reason I picked up this is there are a lot of myths what uh, people are, I mean, not able to uh, process uh, data, I mean, in such a way that people are fighting, they're not fighting the virus, but what I see is a lot of times people are fighting the people who are carrying the virus. So, and there is a stigma for some reason it is attached to this particular uh, disease COVID-19. So I would like to clear away all those uh, doubts uh, by talking more about the technical aspects because the, my uh, co-speakers have uh, mentioned a lot about uh, the art of counseling, you know, um, Dr. Ma I mean, Dr. Um, Anupama mom has insisted on uh, different types of counseling methods, verbal, non-verbal. So I would like to stick to the main uh, clinical part and um, let me start my presentation. And uh, right now I'm still in the US. So I have seen a variety of cases in US. I mean, working day in, day out. So I think because of the millions of cases here, uh, it exhibited a variety of symptoms which it did not expect, in, which it did not show in other countries. So my topic today is coronavirus, COVID-19 and mankind 2020, because I think it is really a, a war between corona and human race altogether because we see a lot of people, I mean, dying because of this uh, COVID virus, coronavirus disease. So this is just a pandemic at a glance as of yesterday around the world, what is happening. If you see at the top uh, 10 or top 15 countries, India is in 12th position with the number of cases, America being the top with about 1.45 million cases that have been diagnosed and about 88, 86,000 deaths so far in this country. And India is also climbing its ladder. I mean, it started with about 700 cases like a uh, few months ago. Now it is at uh, 81,000 cases about with around 2,649 deaths. 
uh, see, we are losing a lot of people day in, day out, and uh, it is not like uh, people have to die, and it is not like everybody who gets this virus is going to die. So I'm going to speak about a little bit what is COVID-19. It is a disease. Everybody knows it is caused by SARS-CoV-2 virus. Actually, coronaviruses are a group of viruses. They did not come like uh, just overnight. They are there in the world for, I think, more than 100 years. And uh, a couple of these viruses caused like SARS, acute severe acute, acute respiratory syndrome or MERS, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome in 2012. And this same virus, the same virus in the same family has mutated into a very deadly virus called uh, just, the corona, um, just the coronavirus, which we are calling the novel coronavirus 2019. And uh, symptoms of the COVID-19, everybody knows the symptoms, what uh, people are experiencing have been changing because initially it started with a dry cough, a fever, usually 101 degrees or more for more than three days is the main classic symptom with shortness of breath. And usually the symptoms appear between two to 14 days. And uh, now uh, the, some studies are also saying that the, the, the symptoms can also be experienced even after 21 days after the exposure. And we have so many updates as per uh, time frame. I mean, uh, on March 10th, again, uh, this is one research on internal medicine said that the incubation period is estimated to be about five days. Almost 98% people have shown the symptoms within 12 days. And on April 14th, it's a new study suggests that losing your sense of smell and taste is an early sign of COVID-19. So, uh, which a lot of people in America are experiencing these symptoms in the very at the very outset of the disease. And uh, on, 2000, uh, on April 27th, the Center for Disease uh, CDC uh, adds six more new symptoms to its list. Uh, they are like chills, repeated shaking with chills, and muscle pain, headache, sore throat, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. These are also some other symptoms uh, which not many people can experience, but at least, I mean, to some extent, some people have experienced it because it actually what is important is what strain got affected because the strain that got sorted in China is not the same strain that is affecting all the people of the country, uh, all the people of other countries. It has mutated many times, like 30 times. And uh, because of some strains, some symptoms are more specific in that particular strain, while as the, whereas the other symptoms are specific in other strains. And uh, it's a classical transmission. It is spread from person to person by droplet transmission, large res respiratory droplets that people sneeze, cough, or drip. Aerosol transmission, when someone coughs or sneezes in the room. Contact transmission, touching contaminated surface and touching your mouth, nose or eyes. Because this virus tends to accumulate on surfaces and direct transmission by kissing, shaking hands, etc. So these are all the major four modes of transmission, uh, how this virus is being spread. Like uh, Sunil was mentioning, even you talk. I mean, because when you talk, you talk by blowing air out of your lungs and uh, aerosol transmission can happen. And the safest distance to be from a person is not less than six feet. At least you should have a six feet distance to avoid this uh, virus transmission. And all of us know that prevention is better than cure. The question is how to prevent it rather than suffering the disease. The best way is avoid exposure to the virus in any way you can. Staying home, staying away from those people who have the disease or shaking hands, any of these things, washing your hands as frequently as possible as the moment you touch other things and uh, using soap and water for 20 seconds at least or use an alcohol based sanitizer that should contain at least 60 percent ether alcohol or 72 percent isopropyl alcohol that is what the cdc's recommendations these days and other things that can that can help the spread of the covid 19 avoid contact with others who are sick avoid touching your mouth nose eyes and face this is one thing which we tend to do because uh, by virtue of uh, what the work we do we tend to put the hands on the face on the eyes on the nose try to adjust the face or cut something on the face uh, and you touch something uh, even as simple as a door handle or as simple as um, you touch something that uh, people are touching it more regularly and you touch your face, you, you can get that uh, to yourself. And clean and disinfect the surfaces. Alcohol or bleach based cleaning solutions work best for coronaviruses. But again, uh, it doesn't mean that uh, don't wash everything with alcohol or bleach like vegetables or uh, milk packets because it is coming to my attention that in India, a lot of people are using um these um, uh, disinfectants to clean uh, food but that should not happen because they only disinfect they only disinfect the surfaces but not the live surfaces 
only the uh, surfaces like tiles or any such things and face masks will not protect you remember this everybody thinks that wearing a face ma face mask and a gloves is going to protect you but again uh, there is a lot of risk involved like um, uh, dr anupama was saying that you will be breathing in and out a face mask will only prevent spread of the virus outside because when you inhale you're inhaling back in again because you're protecting your nose and even the hand uh, gloves you put on see using ppe is very good but if you don't know the right procedure how to put it on and how to uh, how to uh, take it out you tend up contaminating yourself because even a gloves there is a way how you have to remove from uh, outside towards the inside and you throw it out a lot of times people wear masks they touch the the outside of the mask with the hand and they remove it or when they touch the outside of the mask and again touch the face it is still going to come back social distancing is one thing staying far away from those people self isolation is the best if you can staying home uh, these are the best things anybody could practice uh, do all people suffer actually there is a criteria for risk factors people who have uh, a heart disease respiratory disease like asthma copd diabetes have a higher risk of dying from the disease than the young people and people usually above the age of 65 are prone to higher risk smokers have a, a higher susceptibility to sars cov uh, cov2 virus and um, evidence suggests that people who use e cigarettes or vaping that is just smoking uh, e cigarette without the smoke are also at much higher risk in developing countries in developing uh, serious respiratory infections and a chinese study claims to have found that people with type a blood group may be more susceptible to the novel coronavirus uh, this is one strange fact they found and cdc now includes people aged 65 and older people in nursing home or long term care facility people who are immunocompromised like people with hiv people where uh, who have uh, undergone a liver transplant or people who have undergone a bone marrow transplant any any organ transplantation patients or given with uh, basically corticosteroids and immune suppressant drugs where immune system gets weakened not only because of hiv because of the other conditions and uh, these people are at higher risk for severe illness people with poorly controlled hiv or aids again serious illness people with severe obesity bmi of greater than 40 there is a higher risk for the disease people suffering with chronic kidney disease and people undergoing dialysis have a risk of this uh, disease people with liver diseases and uh, because this uh, a disease a uh, coronavirus the novel covid 19 is affecting multi organs it is not just just the blood or just the cells and the latest finding is in children below 5 years of age uh, this is a, a novel finding which was uh, found out that they are also getting affected the, and uh, it is very severe in those people because some of the kids died in new york because of the covid 19 exposure so these are the latest findings coronavirus can cause blood clots because the reason for the blood clot is it causes a storm of cytokines which uh, dr i mean which mr um, sunil has mentioned it earlier uh, from the presentation it also causes multi system organ failure heart liver kidney because people with these problems the virus because it is a multi organ failure eventually people with these comorbidities has the highest risk of uh, uh, risk of death from this disease it might cause children's immune system to overreact like one of the most frightening syndromes i was talking linked is pediatric multi system inflammatory syndrome it's called pmis and this is a characteristic by persistent fever inflammation poor function in one or more organs in some cases children present with shock and have some features of kawasaki disease see what happens in kawasaki disease is the walls of the medium sized arteries inflame so much and thereby the blood supply to major organs is hampered the blood will not reach so people have a uh, uh, very fast symptoms of shortness of breath and uh, people can even end up with a with a heart failure because of lack of blood reaching the heart and um, there is also evidence that the virus doesn't generate a strong immune response normally any infection people get the moment they are exposed to a virus or bacteria eventually they tend to develop some sort of immunity but now it was found out that this particular virus is going to completely suppress the immune system and that gives a direct access for the virus to attack more organs without having any resistance from the body and the cytokine storm which i have already mentioned will cause lot of lung damage and unusual blood clotting is seen in adult patients 
The weird thing which we observed in US is COVID dose. I mean, this is one symptom is puzzling, I, but this is not much troubling. But you see red or purple swelling of their toes, possibly because of the tiny blood clots uh, caused by this uh, cytokine storm caused by the virus. And again, uh, this virus, I said, it tends to accumulate on the surface. When I say accumulating on the surface, it, it literally remains there viable. So depending on what kind of surfaces it is on, it has its different um, viability patterns. If a virus is sitting on a cardboard, like a cardboard or a paper, it is good. It can survive for three to four hours. If the virus is uh, sitting on a copper, copper, anything that is copper, it um, copper is copper has a very good property to kill it. It, or it almost gets killed in two hours. Uh, on a cardboard boxes, big boxes, it can stay for 24 hours and plastic, anything that is plastic, stainless steel, it, it can tend to stay on the surface for 72 hours. So all the pharmacists who are working in the pharmacies, you be careful, especially when you get an order from your bulk supplier or from your retailer, you want from your wholesaler, you want to open them. Be cautious because the virus can tend to stay on the cardboard box as such up to 24 hours. And if it is a plastic tote, it can stay on that surface for up to 72 hours. So you have two options because we don't have a lot of san hand sanitizers available in the market. Wear a gloves, uh, open the box, remove your things, dispose the gloves and immediately wash your hands. A lot of times importance is given for hand sanitizer, but technically washing hands with soap and water is very good than using a hand sanitizer. But hand sanitizer helps you in a place where you don't have water and soap. That is the place where you go for a hand sanitizer. Don't just keep on using hand sanitizer because it also dries up your skin very fast. So try to use sanitizer in a situation where you cannot have access to soap and water. But I suggest you to use wash your hands as much as possible. Then there are two kinds of tests available for COVID-19, the viral test and antibody test. A virus test, a viral test will tell you if you have a current infection and an antibody test will tell you if you had a previous infection. Both are important because uh, some people who have uh, no symptoms, asymptomatic, viral test can tell whether the patient has the virus and the antibody test, the patient might not be suffering, but it will tell the people, okay, this guy might have suffered in the past and the developed some antibodies towards this disease. And, uh, you know, it, it takes about uh, uh, one to three weeks after infection to make the antibodies. So antibodies test is a little later. You cannot do it immediately. And you can use a nasal swab or a saliva sample to do for the viral test. And uh, apart from that, um, uh, one recent advancement I would like to share with you was the clinical pharmacists, the community pharmacists in U.S. are helping CDC and other government agencies and hospitals uh, do the coronavirus test a person doesn't have to literally go to the hospital to get the virus test done even a, a pharmacist in a, a community pharmacy can also help with this test by collecting the swab carefully from the patient packing it and sending it to the hospital for the for the evaluation purposes and the report comes back to the pharmacist and the patient can collect the report so what type of treatment is available FDA has no, I mean, really or regularly approved. There are no FDA approved regular drugs. Until recently, there is one drug called Remdesivir, which I'll talk about it in my later slides. But vaccine wise, there are no vaccine. There is no vaccine currently available against this developing COVID-19. Uh, because one thing is uh, a lot of uh, mutations the virus is going through, it is very hard to find um, the, 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 the strain that causes the most severe illness and find uh, something towards it because uh, in different countries, there are different strains and uh, uh, isolated. And again, what do you do if your symptoms are more severe? Uh, only supportive treatments are available by the CDC guidelines. The, this involves like fluids to reduce the risk of dehydration, medication to reduce a fever, and supplemental oxygen in some or in, in some more severe cases. Some people, not everybody needs a ventilator. Again, don't panic. But people who have a shortness of breath and who have other comorbidities might be need to place on a ventilator or respirator to get well. And uh, like I said, why don't we have a vaccine? Because the main problem is a lot of countries are working on it to develop a vaccine, but because of mutations and, you know, like I said, it has mutated into at least 30 strains. And there is one, this popular study called Arizona study. They generated three full-length SARS-CoV-2 genomes from a series of samples. 
they found that one of these genomes which they have named AZASU2923 had a large deletion of 81 base pairs in a gene called WARF7A. I'll just show you a small picture to understand what this is, what that is because that gene creates an accessory protein which helps the virus infect and replicate and spread inside the human host. What actually does is when you breathe in this viral, uh, the virus, it is a it is an RNA virus. It goes inside. It has its special uh, spike proteins on the surface. I'll show you the picture too. And uh, this uh, spikes go and attach with the uh, angiotensin converting enzyme ACE2 receptors. It sits there. It gets uh, it gets access into the cell wall by the process of endocytosis. It goes in. It takes control of the of the of the of the host's um, uh, RNA um, uh, host replication mechanism, it introduces its uh, RNA into the host cell and lets the cell prepare all its proteins. It it does in such a way it goes to such a way that at a point of time there is a lot of burden on the cell. The cell cannot do anything and it just cell dies by atop ap 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 So which means here whatever the cell it affects it uses the cell to make itself to replicate itself and kills the cell that is what the main problem with this virus is and like everything else the like has a genetic material any uh, virus will slowly mutate but again uh, as they produce more copies as they keep dividing they keep uh, as they keep producing more copies they mutate and SARS-CoV-2 is so far estimated to have a rate of less than 25 mutations per year compared to influenza 50 so influenza virus the seasonal flu that comes every year mutates about 50 times in a year whereas this has a lesser rate that is 25 and only a small percentage of all these mutations are beneficial to the virus itself not all the mutations are helpful to the virus so if you look at this picture here, the top is the picture of the coronavirus, that, that's the spike proteins. And if you see the bottom picture, uh, that is the receptor called angiotensin converting receptor, angiotensin converting uh, ACE2 receptor. It attaches there, it gets access into the cell, it takes control of the cell, makes the cell prepare its genome and its proteins, and it finally kills the cell. So that is the normal mechanism how it happens. And if you see the right side the sars cov2 this is the this is the particular uh, gene i was talking about war f7a so if you see the base pair some of the base pairs have been deleted by the car the sars cov2 virus when compared to the earlier sars cov that got in 2012 so because of that thing removed now it's uh, the virulence has increased so much to uh, infect uh, people in a severe way is Dr. there a cure Sorry yeah. to interrupt. Yeah, can you please just uh, wrap brush up? through? Thanks. Okay, fine. Okay, again, there are currently yeah, no drugs yeah, licensed yeah. for preventing for treatment or prevention of COVID-19, uh, but there are so many investigational treatments. Uh, there is one drug called Remedy that is recently approved by FDA on a pandemic emergency basis. Actually, that was uh, uh, made by a company called Gilead. It is uh, meant to it is meant to treat Ebola. Now it has it is shown to be highly effective in fighting novel coronavirus in isolated cells. There are other uh, investigational treatments: chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, lopinavir, ritonavir, which they are using in US, favilavir. Uh, these are all the drugs that have been studied uh, to show some kind of effect on the virus. So that is these are monoclonal antibodies. We have a uh, baricitinib. Bemcentinib, uh, this is the monoclonal antibody I was talking about, Bevacizumab, Colchicin, Favipiravir, Fingolimod, all these drugs that have been working across the world, Ivermectin, Hydroxychloroquine, and Azithromycin. Okay, so these are all the various investigational drugs that have been worked across the world to show its activity. And this is one thing which I would like to address, uh, COVID-19, that is the immunoglobulin, that is the convalescent plasma. So they take the person who fought the vi who I mean who recovered from this virus. They take the plasma and they concentrate that, and they're trying to infuse into more severe patients. But technically, this is not approved by FDA or World Health Organization. And there was recently a death uh, in our country with this kind of treatment. And uh, this is the latest drug, Remdesivir. Uh, that was uh, it was approved by FDA on May first, which is going to help a lot of people, who, especially who are severely ill. And can Indian people get this new drug? Yes, because the Gilead has signed a uh, licensing agreement with Cipla, Hetero, Zubliant, and Milan to manufacture for uh, distribution in 127 countries. Probably 
in a couple of uh, uh, weeks, I would say we are going to get this drug in Indian market too, because they have given all the rights to receive the technology transfer. Uh, and it is best of thing they've given it for free because of the pandemic situation across the world. And these are the references I used. And one thing I would like to suggest to you, wherever you are, stay safe, stay home. And I, I just come out if it is. I mean, don't try to just walk out in the streets because you want to get it. It's boring in the home. Just come out for your essentials. And let's fight together to, I mean, let's fight together to, I mean, protect the mankind from COVID-19 and stay in good spirit. Stop off it. And thank you very much for your patient listening. Super. Dr. Satish Garo, I should say you are uh, at a very young age. Your scholarship is inspiring, astonishing, and it is going to inspire all the webinar attendees. Uh, how they can scale up, like uh, which is the next level. Thank you very, very much. You have taken time, it's odd time there in US, but still because of your love, you have come Thank here. You. Thanks a lot here. Thanks a lot. It's deeply appreciated. Thank you. And uh, we now move to Dr. Uh, Mr. Paramatma Ji. See, Paramatma Ji is a very, very interesting profile, huh? I will tell you. Amazing guy. I should say he is a firebrand uh, personality. And when you listen to him, you will see conviction in his voice. And it is what is expected <laughs> from every pharmacist. This gentleman, who is a D farm, has done his BA and LLB also. And hold your breath, even now at National Law School, University of India, he is pursuing a distance education course, postgraduate diploma in medical ethics. Hats off to you. That is the role model aspect which we are seeing in you. He is there in the Nalgonda District Drug Advisory Committee. He is a very active in community pharmacist. And he is the person who campaigned in the, what do you say, for the Andhra Pradesh High Court and got a judgment directing doctors to write their prescription only in capital letters. And he has got the retail pharmacist supply of solar power at 80% subsidy. He is a special invitee to engage community pharmacists in pharmacovigilance program of India. And he is also uh, active as office bearer in the Nalgonda Chemists and Druggists Association. Look at the beautiful awards he has received for his uh, committed activities. Best pharmacist award from central government. Community Pharmacist Award at Pune in 2015, Pharmacy Ratna Award at Jwala Mukhi, Seva Bharti Award, and uh, Ramurti Pantalo Seva Ranga Puraskaram Award. Amazing, amazing. Uh, Paramatma sir, really seeing your resume itself is so inspiring. We are just waiting to hear your words to get inspired further. Over to Paramatma sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Telangana, Andhra, Mariu. Bharadesh of Japtangwana, Telugu Pharmacist of Korku Nenu, Erosunaki, Aukashavichina, Karnataka Pharmacist Association Barki, Mariu, IPA President Tivinaran Sarki, Mariu, Nanu Interpretation, Anpomo Adam Garki, Srin Sargaki, Mariu, Satish Garki, Kaushik Garki, Andaki, Nathanyavadalu, Alagi Prasuta e Covid nineteen Paranamudu. Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Rasta Vyaptangana, Retail Chemist Lu, Mariu, Pharmacist Lu, Nithium, Ento Ipadito, Ante Pratinithium, Ento Ipaduna Patikuda, Service Jeran Yematra Menakada Kunda, Chestrandaku, Varki, Ivebna Tatun, and Pratika Daneva Dilutuna, Edicate A Covid nineteen Yenta, Ipandikaramendo, Mananda Gilsu, Ipandikaramend and Telishna Patikuda, Ever Intellect Bait Ragapena Patikuda, Varu Varu, Varioka, Samajis Reyes Kurku, Vari Badudani Kurtinchi, Prajak Sevachal, Pratia Kutrupantoni, Badi Guchi Varu, Tukar Luchivaru, Prajak Seva and Dishna. In the Kante, the Seva Bhavanga, Seva Bhavanga, but the Kaxan chairs and Didi, while Nero Tisnanku, Varki, Manuentena, the Nero Tilpa Shamsundi, Alage, Ipuna Idanando. Chemistry Buddha, Kuntipa de Lotana, Sandra Bamuchin, Educate, Okapati, Pati Pharmacy Rangam Chala Marple Jess Chesputum. They knew nineteen eighty eight lower in Retail Pharmacy Rangam Lokachanu, and a Sumarga Bupere Sansar Linchi Rangaru Nenu, Pharmacist to Kapanasatu, Prajaku, Sevajistan. I think Bupe Sansar like in the system keeper system Kichala Vikasamuchin. Ivisha Nimana, 
ఫార్మసిస్ట్ ప్రత్యేకంగా గుర్తించాల్సిన అవసరం ఎంతైనా ఉంది ఎందుకంటే పూర్వకాలంలో రోగం చెప్పి మందులు అడిగేవారు మన రిటైల్ కెమిస్ట్రీ దగ్గరకు వచ్చి అంటే జ్వరం వచ్చింది తగ్గుంది కొంచెం బాంబింగ్స్ అవుతున్నాయి తలనొప్పిగా ఉంది అన్నట్టు వచ్చి వాళ్ళు అడిగేవారు ఇప్పుడున్న తరుణంలో వాళ్ళు మందుల పేరు చెప్పి వాళ్ళే అడుగుతున్నారు అంటే కాల్పాల్ కావాలి లేదా క్రోసింగ్ లేదా పారాస్టమాల్ కావాలని వాళ్ళు అడుగుతున్నారు అంటే మన సిస్టమ్ మారిపోతుంది మారిపోతున్న మనం కూడా ఫార్మసిస్ట్ మనం కూడా మారాలి అంటే అప్డేట్ కావాల్సిన అవసరం ఎంతైనా ఉంది కాబట్టి మనం ప్రతిసారి అంటే ఎవరైనా అట్లా ప్రభుత్వం నుంచి వస్తున్న వాటిని మనం ఇబ్బందులు ఎదుర్కొంటూ అప్డేట్ అవుతూ సేవ్ చేయాల్సిన అవసరంలో అప్డేట్ కావడంలో ఏమైనా వెనకంజ వేసినట్టయితే మనం కూడా అంటే సమాజంలో వెనకడి వెనకబడిపోయి వ్యాపార సేవా రంగంలో ఇంకొంచెం వెనక వచ్చే అవకాశం మన దృష్ట్యా ప్రతి ఫార్మసిస్ట్ ఈ విషయాన్ని గుర్తించి ఖచ్చితంగా మన సేవని ఇంకొంచెం ఎక్కువ సేవ అందిస్తూ పబ్లిక్కి మెరుగైన సేవలు అందించాలి అలాగే ఈ కోవిడ్ నైన్టీన్ దృష్ట్యా మన అనుపమ మేడం గారు టీవీ నారాయణ సార్ నిజానికి నేను కూడా చాలా ఇబ్బంది పడినా ఎందుకంటే ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ గారు స్పీచ్ లో ఏ ఒక్క స్పీచ్ లో కూడా పారామెడికల్ స్టాఫ్ అని చెప్పారు కానీ ఎక్కడ కూడా మన ఫార్మసిస్ట్ ల పేరే రాలేదు ఇక్కడ ఎక్కడ రాలేదు ఏ ఈవెన్ మన మినిస్టర్స్ సీఎం కూడా ఎవరు కూడా మన ఫార్మసిస్ట్ పేరు ఉచ్చరించలేదు అది మరీ ఇబ్బందికరం అయినప్పటికీ కూడా టీవీ నారాయణ సార్ గారి ఆధ్వర్యంలో ఆ సెంట్రల్ మినిస్టర్ గారికి వారు కమ్యూనికేట్ చేయడం వారు కూడా సరే అప్రిషియేట్ చేసిరు సో అయినప్పటికీ కూడా ఫస్ట్ లైన్ లో ఉండాల్సినటువంటి ఫార్మసిస్ట్ సెకండ్ థర్డ్ లైన్ అసలు లైన్ లో లేకుండా పోయాడు అంటే డాక్టర్ నెక్స్ట్ ప్లేస్ లో నర్స్ వచ్చారు కానీ ఫార్మసిస్ట్ ఎక్కడ రాలేదు ఎట్లాంటి రోగమైనా కానీ ఎంత పెద్ద డాక్టర్ అయినా కానీ ఎన్ని టెస్టులు చేసినప్పటికీ కూడా పూర్తి స్థాయి రోగం తగ్గేది ఫార్మసిస్ట్ మందులు డిస్పెన్సింగ్ చేసి మందులు వాడిన తర్వాతనే అదర్వైజ్ అసలు తగ్గే అవకాశం లేదు అంటే మన పాత్ర ఎంత ముఖ్యమైందో మన ఫార్మసిస్ట్ అందరూ గుర్తించి గ్రహించాలి కాబట్టి ఈ సేవలో భాగంగా మనకు పేరు రాందుకు మన వెనక మనకు బాధపడాల్సిన అవసరం ఏం లేదు రాబోయే కాలంలో మనం గుర్తింపు తెచ్చుకునే విధంగా ఇంకొంచెం మెరుగైన సేవలు అందించి ఎవరైతే ఉన్నతులు ఉన్నారో ఉన్నత స్థాయిలో వాళ్ళందరికీ మనం అంటే మన ప్రొఫెషన్ గొప్పతనాన్ని గుర్తించే విధంగా ఇంకొంచెం మంచి బెటర్ సర్వీసెస్ ఇస్తూ పబ్లిక్కి పాలకుల యొక్క దృష్టి మన మీద పడే విధంగా మంచి సేవ చేయాలని అలాగే నిత్యం మనం ఎదుర్కొంటున్న ఈ ఇబ్బందులని ప్రభుత్వాన్ని కూడా తెలియపరిచి వారి నుంచి మనకి ఏదైనా రెమెడీ కావాలని ఎందుకంటే మనం చాలా ప్రాంతాలలో కొన్ని కొన్ని గ్రామీణ ప్రాంతాలల్లో ఆ రిఫ్రిజిరేటర్ పనిచేయవు అట్లాంటి ప్రాంతాల్లో కూడా నేను అక్కడ సోలార్ పవర్ ఎయిటీ పర్సెంట్ సబ్సిడీ కోసం సుమారు నేను రెండు వేల పదకొండు నుంచి ట్రై చేస్తున్నాను దానికి నేను అంటే సుమారు తొమ్మిది సంవత్సరాలు అవుతుంది దాన్ని ప్రయత్నం చేయబట్టి అంటే ఇప్పటి వరకు ఇంకా సెంట్రల్ గవర్నమెంట్ నుంచి రాలేదు నా ఉద్దేశం ఏముందంటే గ్రామీణ ప్రాంతాలలో ఉన్నటువంటి ఫార్మసీలలో ఇప్పుడు అంటే పవర్ ఉంటుంది ఇంత గతంలో సరిగ్గా మార్నింగ్ కరెంట్ పోతే ఈవినింగ్ వరకు వరకు కరెంట్ ఉండేది కాదు సో అట్లాంటి పరిస్థితులలో ఒక గ్రామీణ ప్రాంతంలో ఉన్నటువంటి ఫార్మసీలో టీటీ ఇంజెక్షన్ ఎట్లా స్టోర్ చేయగలరు ఒక ఫార్మసిస్ట్ స్టోర్ చేయలేదు అనే ఉద్దేశం నేను గ్రహించి దాన్ని నేను ఖచ్చితంగా ఎయిటీ పర్సెంట్ ఇవ్వ సబ్సిడీ ఇవ్వగలిగితే దేశవ్యాప్తంగా ఉన్న ఫార్మసీలు అన్నిట్లో కూడా గ్రామీణ ప్రాంతాల్లో చెక్కడనే కావచ్చు ఫుల్ స్టోరేజ్ ఫ్రిడ్జ్ నడిచే విధంగా వన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ టన్ నడిచే విధంగా సోలార్ పవర్ కనుక ఎయిటీ పర్సెంట్ సబ్సిడీ మీద ఇస్తే కనుక పూర్తి స్థాయిలో వస్తా నేను భావించి దానికి కమ్యూనికేట్ చేసిన ఇంకూ చే ఇంకా చేస్తే ఉన్నాం అలాగే క్యాపిటల్ లెటర్ ప్రిస్క్రిప్షన్ కూడా ఎందుకు అంటే చాలా మంది డాక్టర్స్ క్రిమినేటర్ రాయడం వల్ల ఎన్నో ఇబ్బందులు విపత్తులు జరిగినాయి మనం కూడా చూసుంటాం ఒక అంటే నేను నాకున్న అనాలిసిస్ ప్రకారంగా అమెరికాలో కూడా సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద అంటే పర్సంటేజ్ పీపుల్ ఈ కర్స్ రేటింగ్ వల్ల చనిపోతున్నారు నేను ఒక సర్వేలు విన్నా అంటే అట్లా మనం నిత్యం పోరాటం చేస్తున్న ఈ సందర్భంలో ఒక ఈ కోవిడ్ నైన్టీన్ రావడము ఇంకొంచెం మనకు అంటే టఫ్ అండ్ టఫ్ లాగా వచ్చే సబ్జెక్ట్ ని మనం ఎదుర్కొంటున్న సందర్భంలో మనం ఇంకా శ్రమించి మెరుగైన సేవలు అందించిన వరకు ఆ పబ్లిక్ కి మరీ ఆ క్లోజ్ గా మూవ్ కాకుండా సోషల్ డిస్టెన్స్ మెయింటైన్ చేస్తూ వీలైనంత వరకు చేతి గ్లౌజెస్ మాస్క్ ఖచ్చితంగా ధరించి ఆ సిక్స్ ఫీట్ డిస్టెన్స్ మెయింటైన్ చేస్తూ మన షాప్ ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ షాప్ ముందు ఖచ్చితంగా సిక్స్ ఫీట్స్ ఒక లైన్ అంటే ఐ మీన్ లైన్ ఐదు ఆఫ్ ద ఐదు ఆరు బాక్స్ ఒకటి ఇట్లా అరేంజ్ చేసి వన్ బై వన్ రావాల్సిందే మనం ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేసి వాళ్ళకి అందులో వచ్చిన వారికి మాత్రమే మందులు ఇస్తామని లేదంటే మందులు ఇవ్వమని రిఫ్యూజ
మన ఫ్యామిలీతో పాటు మన వల్ల డిస్పెన్సింగ్ వాళ్ళందరికీ ఇబ్బంది జరిగే అవకాశం ఉంది అంటే ఇది కంటామినేటెడ్ డిసీజ్ కాబట్టి మనం మెరుగైన సేవ అనిపించాలంటే ఈ ఖచ్చితంగా సోషల్ డిస్టెన్స్ మెయింటైన్ చేస్తూ వీరున్నంత వరకు చేతులు గ్లౌజెస్ వాడి ఎక్కడ కూడా అంటే అనవసరం వాటిని టచ్ చేయకుండా వాడిన గ్లౌజ్ మళ్ళీ వాడకుండా వాడిన మాస్క్ మళ్ళీ వాడకుండా వీరున్నంత వరకు ఏర్పాటు చే ఈ సూత్రాలు పాటించాలి అలాగే నేను మనం చాలా వరకు ఇక ఈ డ్రగ్స్ డిస్పెన్సింగ్ లో ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తూ ఉంటాం మందులు వాడే విధానంలో మందులు వాడే విధానంలో మనం వాళ్ళకి కొంచెం క్లోజ్ మూవ్ అయ్యి అంటే చాలా మందికి గ్రామీణ ప్రాంతాల నుంచి ఎవరైతే మన దగ్గరకు వస్తారో వారికి మందులు వాడే విధానం తెలియదు కాబట్టి మనం పూర్తి స్థాయిలో ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేయాల్సిన బాధ్యత ఫార్మసిస్ట్ మీదనే ఉంటుంది ఎందుకంటే ఈ ప్రస్తుత కొత్త కొత్త డ్రగ్స్ అన్ని కూడా వాళ్ళకి అర్థమయ్యే రీతిలో ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేయకపోతే అది వాడే రీతిని వాడకపోతే రోగం తగ్గకపోవడం వల్ల మన యొక్క సర్వీస్ మొత్తం తగ్గి అంటే సర్వీస్ కున్న గౌరవం తగ్గే అవకాశం ఉన్న దృష్ట్యా ఈ విషయాన్ని గుర్తించి మనం ఫార్మసిస్ట్ అయిన మన అందరం కూడా మెరుగైన సేవలు అందించి ఇంకా మన దేశ ఔన్నత్యానికి ఫార్మసిస్టుల గౌరవాన్ని కాపాడుతూ రాబోయే కాలంలో ఇంకొంచెం మనం మన సర్వీసెస్ పెంచుకొని ఖచ్చితంగా ఆపరాన్ మేడం అనుపమగా మేడం గారు చెప్పినట్టు ఖచ్చితంగా నీట్ వైట్ ఆపరాన్ వాడి మన గౌరవాన్ని కాపాడుకోవాలి ఆపరాన్ వేసుకోగానే మనకు ఒక రకమైనటువంటి మన మన దగ్గరకు వచ్చే పేషెంట్స్ కానీ మన ముందుకు వచ్చి ఎవరికైనా సరే మందులు తీసుకోవడానికి వచ్చే ప్రతి ఒక్కరికి మన మీద గౌరవం పెరుగుతుంది దాంతో పాటు మనం చేస్తున్న సేవలు వాళ్ళు మనం చెప్పే సలహాలు సూచనలు వినే అవకాశం ఎక్కువగా ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి మనం అట్లాంటి సూచనలు చేస్తూ వారికి బిఫోర్ ఫుడ్ వాడేది ఎప్పుడు ఆఫ్టర్ ఫుడ్ వాడే ఎప్పుడు వాడాలి తర్వాత యాంటీబయాటిక్ ఎట్లా వాడాలి యాంటీబయాటిక్ ప్రిపరేషన్ చేసిన తర్వాత ఎంత కాలం తర్వాత ఎంత రోజుల వరకు వాడచ్చు ఆఫ్టర్ దాన్ ఇన్ కేస్ ప్రిపరేషన్ తర్వాత మిగిలిపోయింది డోస్ అయితే అందరూ దాన్ని తీసుకురా ఎట్లా చేయాలి అట్లాంటి విషయాలు ఇన్ కేస్ ఎవరైనా పబ్లిక్ దగ్గర ఎక్స్పైరీ అంటే డ్రగ్స్ వాడిన తర్వాత రోగం తగ్గిన తర్వాత వల్ల కొన్ని డ్రగ్స్ మిగిలిపోతాయి మిగిలిపోయిన డ్రగ్స్ బయట పారేయకుండా ఏదైనా గొంతల అంటే గోతి అట్లాంటి తొమ్మి కింద పాతి పెట్టే విధంగా అడ్వైజ్ చేస్తూ ఎక్కడ కూడా డ్రగ్స్ బయట పాడే పడేయకుండా ఎక్స్పైరీ డ్రగ్స్ కానీ మిగిలిపోయిన డ్రగ్స్ కానీ పడేయకుండా వాళ్ళకి సూచనలు ఇస్తూ మరి ఇంకొంచెం మంచి మెరుగైన సేవలు అందించి పబ్లిక్ కి మన యొక్క గౌరవాన్ని కాపాడుకుంటూ వారికి మెరుగైన సేవలు అందించి ఆ రాబోయే కాలంలో ఇంకొంచెం మంచి గుర్తింపు పొంది భారతదేశానికి ప్రపంచంలో మంచి పేరు సాధించే విధంగా భారత ఫార్మసిస్టులు అందరూ ఈ విషయాన్ని మన తెలంగాణ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఫార్మసిస్టులు గ్రహిస్తారని ఆశిస్తున్నాయి చాలా మంది ఈ బ్రెస్ట్ మన చిల్డ్రన్ కి అవుట్ అంటే బ్రెడ్ ఫీడింగ్ వాడుతా ఉంటారు చాలా మంది ఈ బ్రెడ్ ఫీడింగ్ వాడేటప్పుడు బాటిల్ క్లీన్ చేయకుండా అంటే మామూలుగా అన్ని పాలీ ప్రొఫైల్ బాటిల్స్ వాడుతూ ఉంటారు చాలా మంది ఈ పాలీ ప్రొఫైల్ తో ప్రిపరేషన్ చేసిన తర్వాత లోపల్ ఆ ఏరియా మొత్తం ప్లాస్టిక్ పట్టుకుని ఉంటుంది దాంట్లో అంటే మిల్క్ సో అది క్లియర్ కాదు ఎంత మనం దాన్ని బాయిల్ చేస్తేనేమో మెల్ట్ అయిపోతుంది బాటిల్ సో కాబట్టి ఖచ్చితంగా పాలీ కార్బొనేట్ ఫీడింగ్ బాటిల్స్ మాత్రమే వాడాలి అలాగే దాన్ని ఖచ్చితంగా వాడిన తర్వాత ఒకటేసారి ఒక బాటిల్ మాత్రమే వాడాలి వాడిన తర్వాత దాన్ని సోప్ తో కడిగి సుమారుగా టెన్ టు ఫిఫ్టీన్ మినిట్స్ బాయిల్ చేసి అదే టిన్ లో అలాగే ఉంచి వాడేటప్పుడు మాత్రమే చేతులు మంచిగా నీట్ గా సోప్ తో కడుక్కొని దాంట్లో తీసి బాటిల్ కి అది బాయిల్ అయిన తర్వాత నెప్పల్ క్యాప్ లాస్ట్ లో వేయాలి దాంట్లో బాయిల్ అయిన తర్వాత దించిన తర్వాత ప్రిపరేషన్ చేసుకొని ఒకసారి వాడిన దాన్ని తీసి పక్కకు పెట్టి మళ్ళీ బై వన్ వన్ బై వన్ అలా వాడి ఈ చిన్న పిల్లలకి మీరు మరీ ముఖ్యంగా న్యూ బర్న్స్ కి చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఎందుకంటే ఒక నాకు మంచి ఒక ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఉంది ఒక క్లీన్ బేబీస్ వాళ్ళు నెలలో రెండు సార్లు చేయని మా హాస్పిటల్ లో ఎవ్రీ మంత్ టూ టైమ్స్ నేను వాళ్ళని పర్సనల్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ అడిగిన తర్వాత వాళ్ళు చెప్పిన ఇట్లా ఎందుకు అంటే క్లీన్ బేబీస్ కాబట్టి పాలు జరిపోవట్లేదు మదర్ ఫీడింగ్ సో కాబట్టి మేము ఎక్స్టర్నల్ ఫీడింగ్ తీసుకుంటామని ఎక్స్టర్నల్ ఫీడింగ్ తో మీరు బాటిల్ ఎట్లా వాడుతున్నా అని చెప్పినప్పుడు వాళ్ళు చెప్పిన తర్వాత నాకు వాళ్ళకి నేను ఈ విషయం ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేసిన తర్వాత దే ఆర్ నాట్ అడ్మిటెడ్ ఇన్ సిక్స్ ఇన్ వన్ మంత్స్ బికాస్ ఎందుకంటే ఆ సబ్జెక్ట్ నేను ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేసిన తర్వాత వాళ్ళు అసలు హాస్పిటల్ రావడం తగ్గిపోయింది అంటే అట్లాంటి సూచనలు సలహాలు మనం ఫార్మసిస్ట్ మనం మనం పబ్లిక్ ఇస్తూ వారి నుంచి ఇంకొంచెం మంచి గౌరవం పొందాలి ఎందుకంటే ప్రతి బేబీకి ఫీడింగ్ సరిపోను ఈ మధ్య కాలంలో కాబట్టి అట్లా అలాగే నెక్స్ట్ మరి
టేబుల్ స్పూన్ అండ్ టీ స్పూన్ అంటే అన్ని ఇట్లా ఫ్లాట్ గా ఉంటాయి స్పూన్స్ అన్ని కూడా ఇక్కడ పిక్చర్ చూపించే విధంగా అది ఫైవ్ ఎంఎల్ ఉండదు వన్ టీ స్పూన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫైవ్ ఎంఎల్ సో కాబట్టి ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ దట్ ఖచ్చితంగా మెజరింగ్ క్యాప్ మాత్రమే వాడి మెజరింగ్ క్యాప్ దాని మార్క్ ఉంటుంది ఆ మార్క్ వర్క్ మాత్రమే వాడితే సై అయిన డోస్ వాడడం వల్ల రోగాలు తగ్గుతాయి కాబట్టి మనం దాన్ని కనుక ఇగ్నోర్ చేసి ఈ స్పూన్స్ కనుక మనం పబ్లిక్ కి సజెస్ట్ చేస్తే వాళ్ళకి రోగం తగ్గకపోగా క్రానిక్ గా మారి వాళ్ళు ఇబ్బందులు పాలయ్యే దృష్టి ఉన్న దృష్టి కాబట్టి మనం ఎవరైతే మన ముందు ఈ చిన్న పిల్లల కొరకు ఎవరైతే వచ్చి మందులు అడుగుతారో వాళ్ళకి ఖచ్చితంగా మీరు మెజరింగ్ క్యాప్ మాత్రమే సజెస్ట్ చేయండి లేకపోతే వాళ్ళకు తెప్పించి వేరే దాని చేత తీసిచ్చి వాళ్ళకి ఆ మెజరింగ్ క్యాప్ ద్వారా మాత్రమే వాళ్ళని సజెస్ట్ చేయాలని కోరుకుంటున్నా అలాగే కాబట్టి ఈ విషయాలని గ్రహించి మనమందరం మెరుగైన సేవ అందించే కొరకు మరొకసారి నాకు ఈ అవకాశం ఇచ్చిన ధన్యవాదాలు ఏవరుస్తూ మరి థ్యాంక్స్ అండి Thank you. Thank you very much, Paramatma Ji. See, what you are speaking is the most uh, golden words. And uh, before I hand over to Dr. Kaushik, personally, I want to thank Dr. Anupama. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. And I also thank uh, Dr. TV Narayan Garu for his uh, VVIP presence. It was, uh, as I said, a very galvanizing and energizing. Dr. Paramatma, sir, you are really an uh, atmic energy. Thank you very sir. much for providing the same. Sir. And I uh, before I re- request Kaushik to propose a vote of thanks. Sir, sir. Uh, sir. Satish Garu, please uh, talk to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Once again, thanks to Mr. K, Dr. K. Randa, sir, from Telangana Pharmacy College President. He is very, uh, so many times guided to me, sir. So, once again, I thanks to Dr. K. Randa, sir. And uh, so many times I was met Mr. Dr. Uh, B. Suresh, sir. Mm-hmm. He is also advised to me so many times. Yes. So once again, thanks to you both, sir. Yes. So do, before I move over to Kaushik, Dr. Satish Garu, please speak a few sentences in uh, Telugu. Actually, I have to tell you about the coronavirus. I have to tell you about the presentation. India is not one, America is not one. In the first place, everyone is the problem. We have to deal with it very effectively. It is not very severe effect. Like I have to tell you about it. Like six feet distance maintain chayandhi, aru adukula dhooram edhuru wala nincchi, yavaranna dhaggut unna, yavaranna cough unna, fever unna, walakki dhuram unna, walakki dhuranga unna andi. Pharmacist ane wadu, e time lo medicines dispense chayta anki chala uh, pramukhya maina vekti, endu kante doctor e medicine raasi na evolves in the pharmacist e. Kani, uh, meer annatlu pharmacist gurun si mention chayaka pootum vada karam, but adhan gurun chay meeru alo chin chodhu. డాక్టర్ టివి నారాయణ సార్ చెప్పినట్లు మీ ఎఫర్ట్స్ మీరు పెట్టండి సిన్సియర్ గా వర్క్ చేయండి పీపుల్స్ లైఫ్స్ లో డిఫరెన్సెస్ తీసుకురండి సార్ చెప్తున్నారు మనము బిజినెస్ లో ఉండకూడదు ఫార్మసీ షుడ్ నాట్ బీ ఇన్ ద బిజినెస్ ఆఫ్ సెల్లింగ్ డ్రగ్స్ హీ షుడ్ బీ ఇన్ ద బిజినెస్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ సొల్యూషన్స్ మనం జనాలకి వాళ్ళకు వచ్చిన ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఈ టైమ్ లో వాళ్ళకు ఉన్న ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ కి ఒక సొల్యూషన్ మనం చూపించగలగాలి అండ్ వాళ్ళకి ఒక కాన్ఫిడెన్స్ ఇవ్వాలి మనకి ఏ ప్రాబ్లం వచ్చినా డాక్టర్ కాదు ఫార్మసిస్ట్ కూడా మనకి హెల్ప్ చే చేస్తారు అన్న విషయాన్ని మనం ఆ కాన్ఫిడెన్స్ ఎప్పుడైతే పేషెంట్ లో మనం నమ్మకం కలిగిస్తామో ఆ రోజున మనకి ఆ వాల్యూ అనేది వస్తుంది అమెరికాలో ఇప్పుడు ఆల్రెడీ ద మోస్ట్ రెస్పెక్టెడ్ ప్రొఫెషన్ ఇస్ ఫార్మసిస్ట్ ఎందుకంటే ఇక్కడ ఫార్మసిస్ట్ డస్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ చెప్పాను కదా వ్యాక్సినేషన్స్ కానించి కోవిడ్ టెస్టింగ్ కానించి ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఇక్కడ కూడా నేను చాలా బాగా అబ్జర్వ్ చేస్తున్నాను దే ఆర్ మెయింటైనింగ్ సిక్స్ ఫీట్ డిస్టెన్స్ సింగిల్ ఎంట్రీ ఐల్స్ అని షాపుల్లో కూడా చాలా ఆ డిస్టెన్సింగ్ గానీ మెజర్స్ గానీ తీసుకుని దే ఆర్ డూయింగ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ దే క్యాన్ సో మీకు చెప్పేది కూడా అదే పేషెంట్స్ కి సేవ చేయండి వాళ్ళకి కావాల్సిన మెడిసిన్స్ వాళ్ళకి కావాల్సిన అడ్వైజెస్ అన్ని టైం కి ఇవ్వండి అట్ ద సేమ్ టైం మిమ్మల్ని మీ ఫ్యామిలీని మీరు కేర్ఫుల్ గా ఉంచుకోండి థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ సూపర్ డాక్టర్ సతీష్ గారు సో కౌశిక్ ఐ ఆల్సో థ్యాంక్ సునీల్ సార్ గ్రూప్ ఫార్మాసిటికల్స్ and uh, we, i thank all our teachers dr h shiv kumar sir dr suresh uh, sir everybody for blessing care pa all over to you uh. Uh, andariki namaskaram um, i extend a warm gratitude from karnataka registered pharmacy association to all the fellow pharmacists students uh, principals staffs from different pharmacy college for attending this webinar 
Special thanks to VBIP participants like Dr. Vidyadhar sir, Principal, Chips College. I think you know you are the one who guided us to do the, all these activities. Who is also the president of IPA Education Division. Thank you very much, sir. And also to my friend, good friend, Dr. Pramod Kumar, who is also works in Chips College. Thank you very much for organizing and getting the speakers. And uh, a lot of people have joined from Jharkhand also. Darvinder Singh, thank you, sir. Uh, Manoj Kumar Yadav, sir, who is also a digital man. I always say thank you, sir. Uh, Dr. M.D. Salahuddin, sir, for joining us. Adpur Ramesh, sir. Vallu Ravi, sir. Srinivas Rao, sir. Thank you very much. It means uh, it gives a lot of uh, weightage on to do a more programs like this. Thank you very much, one and all. And a special thanks to today's uh, master blaster. I can say that, you know, Dr. T.V. Narayan, sir. T.V. Narayan, sir, I think you are known to be the you know, global pharmacy guy. Thank you very much for uh, taking our uh, pharmacy profession to higher level. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, today's uh you know pharmacy diva manupama ma'am thank you very much for joining us sharing your views thank you very much ma'am and uh, i think uh, if i'm not wrong i think it's 6 a.m in the morning sir in the usa i believe thanks for joining in the 6 a.m in the early in the morning so sir thank you very much and it shows your passion and uh, thank you very much paramatma sir your name itself you know you know the paramatma you know the god <laughs> and the achievements that you have done and your struggle that you have gone and you made to write the capital letters you know there was a joke you know Whenever the doctor, uh, uh, gents, uh, doctor writes a love letter to the gents, uh, lady doctor, doctor, you know, he'll come and give the prescription to the pharmacist. I think you have solved that problem if I'm not wrong. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir, once again. And, you know, uh, I and Sulil, sir, were discussing, you know, why is the pharmacy profession has not evolved? I think he gave a good solution, you know, the doctors have this bonding as well as the sharing of knowledge. I think today this platform is for that, I believe. This is the beginning, sir. And as our, as, as our Prime Minister told, you know, the, there's a vocal for vo local, vocal for local. I think these, these seminars are conducted in that view. And thank you very much for once again for the joining from wherever you are joined. And there are a few queries that uh, we are messaging uh, that is regarding certificates. The certificates, you know, something that you keep on hearing every I didn't get certificate, I didn't get certificate. I think every hour we are sending 200 certificates. I think. By the end of tomorrow, you'll be receiving all the certificates. Sorry if you're not received. You can always write to us. And, and uh, no, I think the Anupam is making a uh, statement yesterday that you know some of the colleges have prepared sanitizers. I think this is a way that we can contribute to the field of uh, from pharmacy field. Thank you very much for whichever the colleges uh, prepared sanitizer. And thank you one and all. Thanks for joining. We love to see you. you for okay, the uh, lot of registered pharmacists, community pharmacists, hospital pharmacists. Please uh, give them a shout out. Thank you very much. One and all, you know, once again, the hospital pharmacies, you are the main warriors. Actually, to be honest, I think uh, TV Narans also mentioned that, you know, Prime Minister doesn't always say that only the doctors, nurses. I think you are, you know, brand ambassadors of our uh, profession. Thank you very much all for doing the service. I think it's just the uh, only days that they'll also start recognizing us. Let us keep serving better and keep improvising on us. TV Narans, sir, any last words from you, sir? Yeah, one of pharmacists, uh, as is well, you have to update on uh, the Japan. Uh, you know, Satish clearly mentioned the pharmacist service used for vaccination in the developed countries. And the pharmacists are used for the testing, this rapid uh, test kits. Not only rapid, by taking the swab test and all. And I re as soon as the US has given the green signal, the pharmacists, they received from my senior Veraju which I circulated to entire our pharmacist here. A, a pharmacist can be used in the services of COVID-19. The same letter we represented to Nitya Yog and Nitya Yog Convention. Then they have contacted Pharmacy Council of India and again Pharmacy Council of India circulated this to all the colleges, give the names of the student in terms of pharmacy particularly who are interested to work for this pharmacy COVID-19. That's how uh, the, some of our pharmacy students are working. I feel proud to say 15 of our... I think uh, somewhere due to the misconnection, I think Saras left the room, I believe. So, sir, uh, if I get confused, no, I'm there. you're there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm there. You no, know, it happened to Dr. Narayana, uh, TV Narayana, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Jai Hind, Jai Pharmacist. Yes. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.